Don't get it the wrong idea. I had nothing else to do. I'm doing you a favor. You were free anyways, right? It's not like you had anything else to do. Baka. Over there, look at his little PNG. <laughs> he wouldn't let me make it better, so that's what he is a cute little box. <laughs> box right now. Yeah. I guess we're in player one, so let's go ahead and play. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, all the monster prom today, right? Yeah, we're doing monster prom. And um, the other fun versions too. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do short games so that we can get through them all in one city. So let's get going. Not for share, one controller for each. You're taking control of my stream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're fine. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Well, maybe you should be player one. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna be like, oh, you're fine, go ahead. <laughs> Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, <laughs> but always willing to live life to the fullest. Hi, Axion! Hi, Axion. Oh, no worries. Oh, hi, Grimex! I hope that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> hi, Grimex. Um, we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Um, who are you today? I think she's cutest. And she's blue. How do I- oops. How do I do it? Uh, back to there, and it's custom name at the bottom. Oh, I'm like, what is it? I just thought I had to click it. I was like, am I dumb? Uh, don't answer it. <laughs> you dumb, stupid, or dumb. Mm. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, that's here. What did I say? Kyrie. Do a proper capitalization. This music is a vibe. It is. Kyrie. Okay, there we go. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> That's so cute. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. <laughs> I didn't even go to my prom. <laughs> Same. I rem- oh, yeah. I was say, did go to an alternative prom, though. Yeah, I did go to an alternative prom, uh, for people that didn't get to go to their prom because, um, they wouldn't allow same-sex couples, and I, uh, helped run it, actually. Yeah, it was really cool. It was a great time. Um, I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <laughs> 
Uh, Pulley Geist, 22. <laughs> a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. <laughs> oh my god, she's cute. Damon LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And he has my heart. Oh, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> I love Damon. Uh, Liam D. Lioncourt. Uh, something. I don't know that age. Douchebag. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. I mean, he's lovable. But he's also a dick. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> Zoe forever. <laughs> and... Ah, oh, oh, thanks for you. the follow, Fang! An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl! Ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> that just was what I thought to do. Hi! How are you? Um, Calcu Lester Hewlett Packard version 1.0. <laughs> <laughs> A library computer who had become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Oh, that's good. I'm a little nervous. I always get the start stream jitters, but going good, I think. <laughs> and also, I'm streaming with Kyrie. Say hello, Kyrie. Hello. <laughs> hello. Um, and Vera. Auburn 23. <laughs> yeah, I always get jitters <laughs> before uh, before my stream's about to start, and then when it does, I'm like, okay, just shake out the jitters, shake out the jitters, you're okay. <laughs> gotta break the ice. Yeah, I just have to. I have to break the ice, and then I'm like, okay, first laugh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll, I'll get the hang of it at some point. I hope. <laughs> um, a mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? I already know. We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. <laughs> but as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yeah, I am ready. <laughs> All right. You want to say this one? Welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. <laughs> All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose you which kind of deviant sicko you are. <laughs> Monster Prom stupidest prom quiz ever, TM, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. Ooh, here we go. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Okay, let's start. You're walking through the desert when you see a turtle on its back, baking in the hot sun. But you're not helping. Why aren't you helping? Because fuck <laughs> turtles. No time too busy twerking. Because I twer the turtle owes me money. The turtle owes me money, little bitch. Um, <laughs> hmm... Nah, I'm gonna go with because fuck turtles. Oh, you're a monster. <laughs> oh, I got well feel shit. Um, oh, I'll let you do this one. Alright. An alien race invades Earth and they tell you the world's fate depends on how you answer the following question. How do you like your coffee? <laughs> alien friend. I like my coffee as bitter and dark as my own soul, which isn't bitter or dark at all. I'm a pretty nice person. <laughs> That's <Heart>. me! <laughs> Uh, my favorite type of coffee is vodka. Um, I like my coffee as bitter and dark as my own soul, which isn't bitter or dark at all. I'm a pretty nice person. <laughs> Alien friendly? <laughs> so smart. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a deal breaker for a potential lover? Oh. The person uses Internet Explorer. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, you calm down. Pain. You're okay. <laughs> shh, 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 pretty boy, shh. <laughs> <laughs> the person hates the outdoors. The person is mediocre. <laughs> the person is a coward. The person thinks Asuka is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> the person lacks taste. Oh, uh, 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 I guess a coward? Sorry, Asuka trash. Oh, I got Damon. Okay, you want to do it? Or is that too What's much What's the reading? title of your autobiography? 
The top 10 drunk texts I don't regret sending. <laughs> My parents think I'm cute and so, so should you. <laughs> How to succeed at everything and look fabulous trying. What? I barely have the patience to read a it's book, you. dude. Let me write one. No, I don't write one. Sorry. <laughs> There's you! Temporality, the ongoing journey to define my inner enigma. Manual of instructions, how to properly experience life. So I think you're either the manual or what I barely have the patience to read. Alright. I mean... Um, my autobiography would actually be a... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it would be Boobs, Butts, Thighs by Rini the Dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna go with... My parents think I'm cute and so should you! I don't have the patience to read. I knew because, <laughs> because... 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 I'm usually fucking busy as shit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> you could read on the toilet. Like uh, me! I'm not about to read The Lord of the Rings on the toilet. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fall asleep while reading about how the grass and the Shire are That's the best time to do it. Light. That's the best time. Oh no, your shower! No, <laughs> no Axion is stinky. <laughs> Axion did do the right thing by smoking before showering, though. Yeah, I mean, he smells like smoke all the time, anyways, though. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> 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 you stinky dummy! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I would hang out in the bathrooms. Fuck school. <laughs> that day you skip class. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. You know what to do. All right. You are respect my authority. <laughs> Ow! You just hit me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ow! Get him, boys! No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Oh, um, did I, like, at your thingy when we did this? When we did the thing, but you haven't done, like, a shout-out or anything, but it's fine. Oh, I'll do that at the end, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to collab. Um, it's tough to smoke in the- Yeah, I mean, I I dare you to try to go smoke in the shower, though. That'd be pretty funny. Pretty try sure to keep thing, the like... cigarette going while you're showering. <laughs> You got your head up in while you're doing your hair. Oh your god, yes, please up. do. Uh, send me a video for evidence. Just just for evidence. That's all, <laughs> just evidence. I don't need to see anything else. Unless you want me to. No, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out at the bathrooms, you give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. <laughs> yeah! You catch Miranda monologuing about her problems to no one. She often does this, it's like she's accustomed to having a royal scribe following her everywhere she goes. Mm, do you want me to voice her or you? I'm gonna let you do her because I think you knew her better. Okay, um... Kyrie is linked in the video description if anyone wants to- Oh, thanks, Axion. Thank you. Actually, Axion, if you want to- Do you want to tell him how to do it? Yeah, if you can or want to, just do exclamation point S-O and then at my username, it will um, Send a uh, thing in there. Or I guess, yeah, he can see your username in the, the, the thing, the description. Yeah. <laughs> like, he can find your username. He's smart. He's got um, big brain. Okay. <laughs> Oh, whatever shall I do about my army? You haven't had a proper war in months, or we haven't. And the soldiers are becoming ever so anxious. I've tried sending the servants to give them tummy rubs and even putting extra leaves and sticks in their cages, but they still kill the servants with the sticks. I never thought managing an entire branch of the military would be so challenging. How can I possibly keep my soldiers entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Divide them in half and make them fight a practice for a thousand pinatas. Oh. oh god, I feel like they want me to choose the pinatas, but I think it should be a practice war. Yep. Ah, yes! A healthy live fire scrimmage! Li oh, live fire! Oh my god. <laughs> live fire scrimmage! Why can't I, I talk? Oh, whoa. Uh -oh. What's happening? Help me! Help me! <laughs> Oh, hi guys! Oh, okay, there we go. I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. That was weird. <laughs> Doesn't look like this is a shout-out sub, sub- Oh, wait, is it not? Did he do it right? 
Uh, you have to do my u username, I think, in lowercase, or the shoutout command's broken still. Oh no. Well, we, we thought we fixed it, damn it. Well, he's in my description. Um, and I'll, I'll tag him on Twitter for anybody that found me on Twitter. I should have no trouble organizing such a thing. My lieutenants inform me that the soldiers bloody hate each other. Mm -hmm. And as an extra bonus, anyone who dies during the practice war will be guaranteed not to die in a real war. <laughs> that ought to reduce war casualties significantly. <laughs> it is as Father always says, any problem can be solved by dividing people into groups and making them kill each other. I never understood it until now, but these are such wise words. Miranda skips off to organize her little bloodbath. You gain plus two boldness and plus one smarts. Dang. Oh my gosh. Uh, thanks for trying anyways, though, Axion. Yeah, thanks for trying. I'll have to figure out what the hell's going wrong. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Now, I would be in class. Because I actually went to class. Oh. <laughs> hey, I almost skipped some times. That day, you listen to your elders and learn a valuable lesson. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activities in high school. You gain two smarts. You're chilling with Zoe, watching her draw a cute little chibi character is getting eaten by nightmare fluid when Leonard slides into your midst. I don't know what the fuck. I need to. What was that I... guy? We've never seen him He's before. He's a kappa. I need to... Oh. See, okay, you need to be him. His shirt even says send nudes. Yeah, I want a second. I got a high shoe in my mouth. Why do you? Why are you eating? <laughs> oh my gosh. And your 3DS is dying. That's what you get. I can see no! it dying right now. <laughs> Rest I'm in sorry. pieces, 3DS. I'm so bad. Just pull it out of your mouth. <laughs> We're in the same room too. If people I'm so sorry. couldn't tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Uh, hey, your art's not bad for a girl. I might have major opportunity for you. Oh, cool. As much as I hate your casual sexism, I love opportunities. What's up? <laughs> well, I'm looking for someone to do a custom drawing of my YouTube channel. <laughs> It will be me, both sunglasses, and my muscles are huge, and you can tell from my facial hair that I'm right about everything. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably do that. No guarantee that it won't drive your viewers insane, though. <laughs> if they go insane, then they weren't true fans to begin with. Great, let's talk a little more about what you want, and then we can negotiate a price for the commission. Excuse me? Price? Exposure to my 284 YouTube subscribers isn't good enough for you? Oh, no. Now? Well, typical. Here I am trying to give you the opportunity of a lifetime, and you can't think of anything but money. Did you hear me when I said how many subscribers I have? 284. That's just right. At the end of the week, it could easily be 285 <laughs> or 286. And from there, it's just a few orders of magnitude until I hit 600. A real savvy artist would understand the value of getting any good with me while I'm still on the rise. This could be a huge for you. Oh my god. Anyways, TLDR, no cash right now. I'm investing all my capital in my craft in the hopes of maybe someday become a YouTube sensation. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. Do you love Oh my god, it keeps going. <laughs> do it for the love of the art or whatever dumb fucking reason artists have for doing art shit. Somebody please help us. As Leonard pours more and more garbage words out of his mouth, you can feel the air around Zoe turning into pink tentacles of wrath. Uh-oh. If you can't broker a deal between these two, who knows what will happen in reality. If you can convince Leonard to pay with something other than money. 
Oh my gosh. Let's see, <laughs> why don't you pay with one of your kidneys? I mean, you already got two. Let's hear your YouTube sensation. You can buy as many kidneys as you want. Um, if all you've got right now is hope for a future, why not pay with your future? Pledge to be Zoe's indentured service from ages 32 to 36. Hmm. Which one sounds more threatening? I think this one. I think that one's yeah. too much. Not so creative. Damn it. Oh. Well, I'm actually a lot older than. Well, actually, I'm a lot older than 36 because I'm a fucking Japanese swamp vampire. But I'm totally promising you four years of my in my of my distant future in exchange for drawing today. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, he finally ended. I thought he knew it was gonna end. <laughs> I was like spacing out there like, oh my god, please no more. <laughs> Which was not because you were bad, it was because this guy like, whoa. Oh, yeah, <laughs> especially doing with Twitter. Yeah. Um. Maybe I could get some use out of you. What kind of skills do you have? So many sucking black cow's asses for one thing. Writing expletive missives to my favorite content creators. Anytime they dare make anything even slightly different than what I consumed as a child. Telling people their opinions are wrong. Why does it keep thinking I'm- Oh, it's because you're leaning over. That's why it thinks I'm oh, leaning. sorry, it's cut for me. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why does it think I'm leaning? Okay. I, uh, don't think I actually have much use for any of those skills. Wrong? See, I've started already. No, I don't want you to. Wrong? Man, you don't need more than I- Wait, you man, you need me more than I thought. Uh, that's it. Universe over. Zoe destroys the entire universe. Luckily, she replaces it with an almost identical duplicate. The only difference is that Leonard is... Oh! Leonard starts a stupid conversation, and Joe likes you a little less. But as you draw, she goes, no! No worries, Exion. Have fun. Get nice and hot and steamy. <laughs> um, uh, welcome home, Roxy. Okay. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, wolf. Dragon. Hey, little butthead. Player order just um, is just <laughs> decided on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with the selected an Oh, you win. Yeah, that would actually be fucking like adorable. Dang, so not fair. <laughs> Your turn just went to. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go to the shop this time. Hey, stranger. Go, Kai. <laughs> Hey, do you want to do this one or should I do this one? Um, you can do it. Yo, Kyrie, what's it going to be today? We didn't even really have to voice the um, shopkeeper, really, unless you want to. Oh, uh, not really. Um, Two more for this. I'm just checking what each thing does. Uh, you know, I'm trying to fucking play it with two holes. I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's go. Um, of course, where am I? There I am. Of course, I'm going to sit with Damon. <laughs> or Damien, goddamn. Damien, you're Damien, Daddy. <laughs> um, I was watching Big Potato play a game with a guy named Damon that I also like. Apparently, I'm just into guys named Damon and Damien. <laughs> um, you find Damien and Vera hunched over a scale model of Spooky National Bank made of milk cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. <laughs> Alright, we'll go in through the side entrance, disable the alarms with an EMP, and blow the safe. You want me to do him or should No, me. Okay. 
Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? <sighs> because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Damien points at a kosher dill <laughs> pickle in front of the vault labeled police ogre. <laughs> That's the police ogre. He, he's got eyes all the way around his head, never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and is invincible in combat. Oh, dang! Oh, thanks for the raid, Tato! Oh! How was the rest of your game? Hi, designer! Can we blow him up? No, we can't blow him up. We need to find a way around him. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, Rini, we'll cut you in on the heist if you can solve this ogre problem for us. Luckily, you're a heist mastermind. Before Vera or Damien can react, you... Yay! Potato raid! Aw, oh, thanks for the follow, Guilty! Hi! Hi, Tato! I, I missed you under all the little Tato rings. <laughs> it's raining Tatoes! Hallelujah! It's raining Tatoes! <laughs> taters! Taters! Hot, steamed, fried, and baked. <laughs> I don't, Boil I don't them, mash that. them, stick them in a stew. Stick them in a stew. Okay, that was a pretty good ending. Good job. <laughs> Gotta end, end with Samwise, always. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm hungry for some potatoes now, too. I keep, like, uh, getting kind of freaky with my model today. That's okay. <laughs> she just wants to lean into Kyrie over there. Yeah. She likes her them fem boys. <laughs> she likes the fem boys. <laughs> um, wrap the bank yourself and split the money with Vera. <laughs> oh, eat the pickle! <laughs> yes! Quick as a flash, you snatch the pickle off the table and bite it in half. Yes, success. Suck it, ogre. That doesn't actually solve the... Look, Vera, now the patch... Oh, path. The, the path to the vault is clear. We can blow it open and walk out with the cash. But the ogre is still there. The map doesn't lie, Vera. I see no ogre. Fine. Why don't you two just rob the bank then? I'll focus on my illegal drug trade. Hmm. Yeah, pickles are a theme today. <laughs> As I was watching um, Impractical Jokers today, too, <laughs> and they were stuffing a whole bunch of pickles into a guy's hand. <laughs> oh my god, I love that show. Nine dollar pickle fee. Just little pickle fee. <laughs> Hands change on pickles. <laughs> um, you're happy to share a moment, or a romantic heist with Damien. Together, you eat the actual ogre just like mm. you ate the pickle. <laughs> And everyone knows police ogres are the ultimate aphrodisiac! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Hey, Damon. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> yes, oh dear indeed. <laughs> oh no. Right. Uh, um, the, they were oh, doing yes. like a little model of a bank and they used a pickle for the ogre so I ate the pickle, so the demon boy is like, oh, the ogre's dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Player orders decide based on how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse. Um, I think you would die first. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I think you would die first. You want to know why? Why? Because let me tell you why. I know everything about zombies. You can't compete with me. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> oh! That fucking sets. <laughs> I've seen every single Resident Evil movie. I've seen every single zombie movie known to man. Don't get me started on all the zombie books I've played. I mean, read. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I played zombie visual novels. And you also have that over there. What? The zombie survival guide. Yeah, and I have a zombie survival guide. Remember having that shit was like the coolest shit when we were fucking kids? Oh no! Oh, oh no, what did I do? Oh no, I hit for you to go first. Oh. <laughs> I guess I, I automatically oh, lost because I have the dumbs. Oh right. uh, yeah, I think seven days to die counts. <laughs> it's close I think enough. So. I think, isn't it a zombie game? Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, you need to choose where you're gonna go. Yeah. At night, oh. I would probably be... I mean, 
I probably won't be able to run very fast though, so I'm going to have a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Zombies are terrifying. I don't want to be eaten alive. I be in the auditorium. Oh, the auditorium. Oh, you're getting uh, an item uh, again? I didn't expect her to be here. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I'm too poor for shit. So yeah, I think you this. just wasted your turn again. No refunds. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Let's go. I just graduated. <laughs> I just thought of where it was. Yeah, goodbye. I'm done, guys. See you later. <laughs> um, so I already went to the bathroom to cut class. The other thing I like more than cutting class would be going to the library. <laughs> that day you spend some time on the library's PCs, managing your start kicker. <laughs> you deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice! Oh my god. <laughs> 420 backers. <laughs> <laughs> you gain plus a lot of money, because I'm not going to read. I think that's 100,000. But almost everything goes to cover cost and you keep only plus two money. <laughs> oh. It was good knowing everyone. Yep. <laughs> Rest in pieces, potato. I'll bury you out back and hopefully grow some more potatoes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you settle down at a computer to do the kind of internet research that will necessitate clearing your browsing history. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you notice three of your most fuckable classmates <laughs> deep in thought at the next computer over. <laughs> um, like, have dang, you I don't like any of these people. Oh, sorry. Have you tried <laughs> clicking it? Um... I cannot click it, friend Scott. It is a checkbox marked, I am not a robot, I am a robot, ergo, clicking is impossible. Okay, I'm out of ideas in this. <laughs> um, if someone graduated during a zombie apocalypse, but they just came back to zombie, or would they just come back to zombie? Um... They'd become a zombie VTuber! <laughs> <laughs> Those are on the rise right now. <laughs> yeah, apparently though you can do the robot. Um, I'm not sh I mean, the bottom looks kind of like it might have a hole down there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can do the robot though. Oh my god. Yeah, you can date that robot. Have you tried cooking it? Preparing to vent air in an approximation of organic exasperation. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> Oh, Rini, maybe you can help us! Calculester was just attempting to participate in a heated online discussion regarding the proper pronunciation of giraffe, which we all know is pronounced giraffe with a J, even though it's. Oh no, giraffe with a J, even though it's spelled with a G. But this page is friendishly. Oh, fiendishly designed to prevent robot participation. I've passed the Turing test. Oh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> Turing test and the Vought Camp test, but this test, it is too much for me. Don't give up, Cal. There's got to be a way to, way to do it. Right, Rini? <laughs> I would fuck the robot too. Um, this game is called Monster Prom. It's on Steam. How much was it right now, Kyrie? Oh, I, I don't know anymore. It's not on sale anymore. Dang it. Yeah, I got it during the uh, spring sale, but I'm sure it's probably not too much. I would say around maybe 20 yeah, to 10 or something. Horrible. So it's not horrible priced. And then it has uh, some other stuff where you get to go, I think, on a road trip and camping with them. Yes. So we're gonna try those hopefully today as well. Okay, um, this is more of the anti-robot discrimination we've seen for years. Time to fight for robot rights to use the internet freely through aggressive lobbying. <laughs> Just click the damn box. You know what? I'm gonna go with the harder option. Huh? Yes! Lobbying? I don't understand. Is this a democracy thing? <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> I got just caught off guard by that. Um, <laughs> I think it's when you wait in the lobby whining and whimpering because no one will let you outside. <laughs> yeah, I know I have a lot of games that I'm trying to still get, but when uh, spring hit, I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, I want to fuck monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Should have used the um, hashtag monster fuckers in your thing. I thought I did. Oh, you did? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah. He's a werewolf and he's adorable. He's stupid. I love him. He's so fucking great. <laughs> yes, monster fucking for the win. And yeah, I get uh, wanting to buy that ninja game. Oh my gosh, those girls. Date the bot. I am not gonna date the bot. I am dating Damien. <laughs> the bot is actually terrible. <laughs> Why is the bot terrible? I don't like him. He's That's so rude. Stable. Searching eternal database for a more plausible definition. Definition found. Lobbying. Noun. Seeking to influence a politician or public official on an issue. Oh, father does this all the time. We call it gunboat diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the time too. Last year I collected a thousand signatures to convince the governor to make sports our official state bird. <laughs> yeah, they're discriminating against robots. The poor robots. Perfect. Never has there been a team so well suited to influence a legislative body. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is factually inaccurate. But I am moved by your concern for my rights. <laughs> mm. Then it's settled. Let's manipulate the opinions of our representatives by any means necessary. <laughs> oh. One letter writing campaign, two political assassinations, and three threats of invasion later. We did, I think. I don't understand politics, really. We did it, Scott! Of course our legislators weren't thrilled about the idea of a completely unrestricted internet, so we struck a compromise. If anyone's going to be kicked off the internet, it should be you. No! <laughs> no! It doesn't affect us at all because we're monsters. Oh! I mean, the, the cute little, like, uh, what is that girl? I can't remember. Like a little mermaid monster? Yeah. The mermaid girl is filthy stinking rich so I mean she could have just bought off everyone <laughs> yeah. that's right Scott and since humans were the ones causing all the problems on the internet to begin with I'd say we've done a good deed today <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be kicked off the internet excellent the CAPTCHA test has been replaced with an anti-human test <laughs> I couldn't say that with a straight face <laughs> Proof you are not a human by solving complex math equation while watching this video of a puppy being killed with a hammer. <laughs> no! <laughs> what have you done? Finally, something I can do. <laughs> the pure joy on Calculus's face totally makes up for all the flagrant manipulation of your political system. You gain plus two boldness and plus one charm. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh! What have you done? I can't access my Twitter anymore. <laughs> oh, I gotta be. Uh -oh. I'd be nothing without my Twitter now. I'd probably just be a little bored for a day. Let's go. Okay, what's gonna happen? Yeah, that was a definitely an oh dear moment, designer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're out at the club having a great time when suddenly you become acutely aware of the. Inevitability of your own death. You think you're having an existential crisis, but it's actually just Zoe. She coalesces from a murky soup of all your darkest thoughts. It's cute. What's up, Rainy? Enjoying your weekend? That's cool. That's cool. Listen, I gotta ask you something about Kyrie. You know, the one with the very nice butt <laughs> and also probably personality? To ass, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> We've been hanging out for a couple weeks, and I have to admit, there's a spark there, but he's kind of stinky. What? <laughs> well, if I'm gonna shit myself with someone, what? I'm not gonna half ass it, you know? Like, I'm gonna expect them to get into all the weird shit. I'm a fan of magical girl anime, tentacle porn. The look on a man's face as his last shreds of sanity escape through his ears like wisps of screaming smoke. <laughs> I can get behind that. I mean, this girl is me, damn. <laughs> oh, no, she said ship herself, like shipping anime characters. <laughs> I like all that stuff too, <laughs> so we... <laughs> But I'm not, you know, selfish. I want to get into whatever Kyrie is into, too. Like, you know, furry shit. Yeah. I just want to know what I'm getting into as far as fandoms are concerned. I don't want to have to invest in, like, Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Space Jam mashups? 
Oh. <laughs> it looks like Zoe's not the girl for me. But I don't have it matched up with Space Jam, so maybe it will still work out. I mean, somebody might shit themselves by the time this game is done. <laughs> Some crazy shit happens. So, what's Kyrie a fan of? Do you know? Kyrie has a huge collection of super cool bus driver <laughs> training cards. Kyrie has a collection of super lame bus dri um super cool. <laughs> I do have a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards. OMG! Kyrie is a Buster Ferrarian too. We'll have to compare collections. I've got all of history's greatest bus drivers. <laughs> bus driver Ephraim, bus driver Jewel, the acid rap sensation known as Bus Driver. <laughs> I tried to get a card signed by our school's very own bus driver, Otto Wolfman, but his hands are permanently glued to the wheel by a mummy's curse. I wonder if Kyrie has a signed copy from back before Otto raided that tomb. I can't wait to ask. <laughs> Thanks for the inside scoop, Brini. As a show of gratitude, please take this. It's my spiciest bus driver training card. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe hands you what appears to be a photograph of a bus wearing a phone. <laughs> Juicy, you gain plus three charm. Yes! <laughs> I'm kicking this game's butt. <laughs> Thong bus, bus <laughs> wearing a thong. <laughs> it's the thong school bus. It's the thong school bus. It's the bus I take when I'm wearing my thong. <laughs> <laughs> that okay, that was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud a to the rest of the players before clicking. So a brand. Walmart brand. Oh, okay. Uh, Taco Bell is that a brand? Yeah. <laughs> Mine is Walmart. <laughs> I know the devs for this. I, they must have been proud, though. They did a good job. This is really fun. They did great. It's Jesse Cox who. Yeah, it. if uh, anybody has watched Jesse Cox on YouTube, I highly recommend him. Um, he helped make this game. Oh, yeah. Bus driver appreciation. Miss Frizzle. She was a teacher and a bus driver. Did you, did you thank your bus driver today? No, she sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this game is so cute! I love it! Alright, it's based on how intriguing it would be if Slacky Brand decided to produce Imagine being the dealer for the devs of this game. What do you mean, like, drug dealer? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you mean? Right. Uh, huh? the brand decided to produce their own TV show. Uh, oh, so a Walmart show or a Taco Bell show? I feel like Walmart would be better. You have all the different there apartments? is a show like Walmart, though! I can't, I can't remember what it's called! Oh, uh, like, oh my god, it's on Hulu. But there's a show actually just like that. Workaholics? No. It's like Superstore or something. I can't I think remember. It's Superstore. But it's basically like they're working at a Walmart kind of store. <laughs> I need to watch that. I, I don't know. I feel like a show about Taco Bell could be fun. Everybody would be getting diarrhea. <laughs> They'd make some burritos. Fun for everyone. Well, you can also make a show around Taco Bells that are being disastrous, like a Gordon Ramsay version. That would be fun, actually. Can we get Gordon Ramsay? You made the burrito. Both would be so good green. crime dramas. <laughs> God, I don't know. I don't know who should win this. I say me, but of course I'm gonna say me because I want to win. I just think Walmart would be so interesting with different um, um, departments. Undercover boss at Taco Bell, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The things that he would find at Taco Did Bell. Did Ted just stick his balls in the beans? Oh yeah, he does that every Tuesday. Don't mind him. <laughs> What's the <Samantha> method <laughs> doing to the sour cream? Oh, <laughs> tighter cast at the Taco Bell would be a plus. Yeah, not as many people. At a Walmart, oh my god, you'd have to have so many actors. I'll just I'll let you win, Kyrie, because you're my guest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I should admit, like a rivalry between different departments, like the clothing department and the well, telly would I be Well, I think cool. that that show's actually pretty popular. I haven't watched it, though. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna go outside this time. Oh, rave! <laughs> yeah! You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Oh my gosh. So if someone's demons from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fun. Yeah! Oh, I'm like so broke. 
spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test out your new blanket. Oh! You were a goofy ghost to approach them your with blanket. a spooky boo while Miranda is explaining something to Scott. Oh, um, Baked Potato, I would shout you out, but my uh, shout out thingy isn't working. But everybody t uh, definitely check out Baked Potato. She also, I will tag her on Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm very sorry because we tried to uh, shout out Kyrie earlier and Axion couldn't get it to work, so I have to figure out what's wrong. I don't know <laughs> what's wrong. I thought we did it this time. Me too. Alright. And that's why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst. And also, most likely tied to the disappearance of Mars Argo. Oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? You took a. And it's here. So ghostly. You guys suck. You guys you are guys joking, suck. <laughs> right? This is clearly Kyrie wearing a blanket with eye holes cut. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Yeah, Liam, you don't see anyone saying, ooh, Liam is really just Kyrie wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. <laughs> Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times we suspected it was so. What? <laughs> What's it doing right now? Oh, he's doing the... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I assumed you were a boy designer. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> designer oh, is, uh... Um... Pulling up the list of commands. Oh, okay. Because I wonder... I think Mark, or not, I think Axion did it right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you, I can't today. You're turning that all the way down. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I, I somehow guessed that right. <laughs> I'm sorry that I just said he though, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. I need to be careful and not just do that. Mm -hmm. I'm a dummy sometimes. Um, I just always think everything's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that that dog's a boy. They're like, no, this is a girl. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. That's true. Je tell us, do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh, yes. Divulge, divulge. Let's see, basic ghost knowledge. Ghosts. Main power is levitating stuff. Ultimate ghost prank. Haunt someone <laughs> into despair. Oh. Despair. Oh! I have picked the covenant, that's a fuck up. You start running in their direction while I'm screaming your best. Boo! To date. They're so cute! Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm starting to run out of girl voices. <laughs> Let me see. Um, what's this? Maybe it's a minion of Queen Nahelinia. Rumors say she's preparing to be the big bad of next season. Stop booing at us. It's hard enough as it is to save the world on a daily basis. We don't need people here undermining our morale. Stop booing! This school is unbelievable! Ah! Mm -hmm. They go running looking for a place to recover from all the booing and undermining. Oh no! What have we done? Oh, I wonder. See, did you see what he, designer said? I can't see very well. Oh, he said, yeah, the S, the shout out command is not in stream elements. Okay, I have to fix that up then. Yeah, Kyrie will help me because I tried to do everything by myself. Apparently, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I wanted to be independent, so I'm gonna have to have him help me. I don't know what I did wrong, but you know, every stream has some kind of scuff. Yeah. Mine at least is something small this time. <laughs> I tried my best, everybody. Um, we made them miserable by forcing our little ghost friend to hunt them with its ghost powers. You do realize you just ran them away while booing, right? The only thing I realize is that too much ghost power in our hands has made us evil. We've got no time to lose. We need to start living lives of good deeds so we can be forgiven for this. 
You're right, Scott. Maybe in 10 or 20 years, we can be redeemed for this moment of weakness. <laughs> At least you've led Miranda and Scott into the path of goodness. Nah, it's, it's been a failure for sure. You lose two smarts and one pun. I'm just fucking up so bad. <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, and there's always new stuff coming out. And I'm like, oh my god, I want to try this and that and this. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. You've been following me for 19 days and one hour. Woo! <laughs> right, 19? Yeah. <laughs> my body is like in the chat on my screen, so I'm like, uh, <laughs> trying to move my body to read it. Um... I think I'm gonna go to the gym, the place I hate the most. <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Yes! Hmm. I'm winning, I'm winning! <laughs> It's a race! It's a race! It's a race! I'm winning! I'm sorry, I can't I'm do- I'm winning! I can't do Mr. Bean, but I love him. You're gazing dreamily at Miranda when a flash of otherworldly light blinds you. When your vision clears, you see a great rift has opened in time and space, and standing in the middle of it- I love. Oh! Oh! You do it! It's me, Prince of the Otherworld, and I am here to fulfill an ancient prophecy. I like it. Maybe give him a little bit more sass, though. How majestic. A prophecy? How exciting and regal. What sort of prophecy is it? It's a prophecy of love. Oh, I like that. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Legends foretell of great beauty with her hair of an angel and scales of fish. A beauty who I am destined to marry. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I should, because... I only know, like, the basic, like, lurk and shout out. <laughs> and I think that's it. And the one that you just did right now. <laughs> I don't know a lot. Yeah, I only know a bit. I already read his thing. I know. You were saying something. I was making sure you were oh, done. sorry. Because I, I, uh, I keep on accident cutting you off, so I'm trying so not to. <laughs> if anyone needs to know, I am, like, stoned as shit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a little distracted. Sorry. Well... I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be a good host. You are doing, you're doing a good <laughs> job. Alright, um, oh, nice Oh yeah, did I say this already? Yep. But that, that sounds like a perfect description of me. Could it be that I'm the great beauty described in the prophecy? Well, yes, it's sort of what I'm trying to imply. Now, come with me to my room where we may plan a magnificent wedding. You can't let him get away with this, but that prophecy is hard to argue with. The only argument you can think of is... The hair of an angel. Ha! Clearly Miranda has the hair of a goddess. What about these fish scales? I glued... I glued to this handful of angel hair balls. <laughs> yes! Oh... Uh, God, I don't know. Do you want to... I can't. I'm gonna try. No! <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon? Did you just compare me to a fistful of limp noodles and fish flakes? Kyrie, look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. Disgraceful. Unacceptable! Indeed. Let us away to my realm at once where we can be free of such low japery. <laughs> I'm afraid now is not a good time. My prince, I will certainly consider your offer, but these noodles have not put me in the mood for love. <laughs> They have put me in the mood for executions. Um. You have to seek refuge in a form <laughs> refuge in a former embassy to escape Miranda's wrath. And in the meantime, you miss all your classes. You lose negative three smarts. No, mm. my smarts. I wasn't very smart enough to begin with. <laughs> Everybody choose something bad. Say your choice now. Something Fart. bad. Farts. Farts. Uh, how bad should I go? Like, bad, bad? Just whatever you think. Dead babies. Oh, bruh. I was going with something really bad. Based on how badass criminal named to be. Um, oh. <laughs> Mike. 
and the dead babies or Mike the fart. I think year wins. Yeah, mine was pretty pretty dark. <laughs> what does I have say? um um I can't afford negative three smarts. Yeah, neither can I. I need all the smarts I have, which is not a lot. I want to go sit with the furry, but if I do, then I'll miss out on actually getting a date, so I don't know if I should go with Scott. There's a, oh, there is a furry. Eh, there we go. It wouldn't let me go down. Ooh. Kiss the cook. Yeah, um, Cisco Joe does seem really nice. I've only talked to her a few times though. I'm really bad about being on Discord. <laughs> I'm trying. I, just, I don't know why I don't want to like Discord that much and everybody thinks I'm crazy. But I just get anxiety from Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really weird. Um, you find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food. As usual, Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table and also some organs. No, not bad. Hmm, not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps, slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. And this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. Oh. <laughs> but I agree, the money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their own reward. Still. I'm always looking to improve efficiency. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Uh, uh. <laughs> Better not. When I die, <laughs> I don't want nobody knowing what porn I'm into. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those, you need a priest. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And make money at the same time? I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the first option! Ah! <laughs> uh, thanks, designer. I'm trying to put myself out there. It's so hard though. <laughs> I might not seem, uh, seem it, but I'm incredibly shy <laughs> and I have bad anxiety. But I'm trying to get myself out there and do scary stuff. Like streaming for one thing. <laughs> You're doing good though. I'm trying. Making friends is hard too. I suck at keeping conversation going. I'm just like, how are you? Uh, you like aliens and shit? <laughs> yeah, I suck at it too. I was like, I feel like I'm making people think I'm a freak sometimes when I'm talking <laughs> to them. Yeah, I pro people probably do think I'm a freak, but it's okay. Ah, uh, thanks, designer. I'm glad I went through with it too. I made myself a schedule so that I'll stick to my schedule. <laughs> Oh, Kyrie, can you also hand me my drink real quick from way over there? Uh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, no problem. Yes, see it. You can keep that going anyways. Cause, uh, yeah, because this is all my people I'm voicing. <laughs> Three characters in a scene. Ah. Uh, set the building on fire and charge an exit fee. Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy. <laughs> then film it. Blackmail in bulk. Hmm. They want to make money. Uh, I think some of them would like the orgy though. I'm gonna say set the building on fire. Oh my god. Yes, because he's a demon. Of course he likes fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't think of that, Damien. Damien, where'd he go? Hey, I'm back. I was just setting the building on fire. Real quick, did I miss anything? What about the rest of the plan? There was a plan. <laughs> Not anymore, Damien. Immune to fire as he is, continues doing exactly what he was doing before the fire. Beating people up for their money and we're gifts. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, thanks, designer. Um. Automods? Um. Oh, it might have been like an auto mod thing prevented a message or something. Uh oh. And we didn't see it. Can we check my phone? I hope not. Oh, I don't shit, think my phone is dying. 
Uh oh. <laughs> There's a charger over there. Um, yeah, mental organs. Oh, oh. But thank you for saying that. In mean, one second, I'm gonna plug this in. I always feel like people don't like me because I'm weird and shy and awkward. But I guess probably a lot of people feel that way. Oh, I did not like my orgy message. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was thinking about choosing the orgy, but then I was like, mm. I, I think fire would be more their style. <laughs> All right, I am back. Is there a way I can make my auto mod not so bitchy? Uh, I don't know if some words. Though. Oh, just some words that'll be like, meow. I have to check. Sit down with Zoe and Scott. Scott is eating his trademark pizza sandwich, which is just three slices of pizza on top of each other. Zoe has a notebook out and is taking notes. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm almost ready. Yep. I needed a drink doing all those voices at a time. I was like, whoo! Okay. Here's my favorite girl, Zoe. Here we go. But how do you get your food, Scott? Well, I burped a little bit. Excuse me. I like, I was doing her voice and then I like, I started to burp. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Why do you want to know so bad? It's pretty normal. No, it can't be normal. I'm doing research for my latest fanfic, Cry Havoc and Let Slip the Dogs of Love. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a pack of werewolves going on the biggest hunt of their lives. A hunt that will change them as hunters, but also as were people. <laughs> they went looking for food, but what they found was personal growth and a new understanding of group sexual practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't I couldn't stay oh, the character. So oh, I with you. the orgies. Oh my god, okay. Also food. So that's why I need to know, how do you hunt? Oh, well, normally I go to the cafeteria and I ask for pizza. <laughs> um. That's it? What about hunting in a pack? Enjoying the spoils together in a, a feast of blood and rage? Exploring each other's bodies? <laughs> mm, well, mm. I guess sometimes me and my cousins order pizza at home, but then the pizza comes and we eat the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Three meat pizza. I'm gonna like mm. shock everybody right now. I like pineapple pizza. Pineapple I'm pizza sorry. Good. <laughs> but you know what else is even better? Pineapple mushroom pizza. Pineapple mushroom. That sounds interesting. I like uh, pineapple chicken pizza too. <laughs> oh, pineapple chicken <laughs> with barbecue. Yeah, sauce. the barbecue sauce. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, pepperoni is good too. <laughs> I like to, uh, so this is kind of weird. I like to get Cheez-Its and pepperoni. Then I put two pieces of pepperoni in like on top and on bottom of the Cheez-It and then, then I eat it like a little Cheez-It pepperoni sandwich. <laughs> I'm so weird. Right. Zoe does not look at all satisfied with Scott's answer. Maybe you can get Scott to give some juicier info or convince Zoe that Orient pizza is actually traumatic. <laughs> But Scott, what about when you go searching for pizza in the wild? Or, so don't dismiss the utter suspense and extreme pathos of waiting endlessly for the pizza to arrive. Truly, it's a central tragedy of the 21st century. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one do I pick? Uh... I think the bottom one. Okay, because yeah, waiting for pizza is a fucking... Like a it movie takes length, hours. <laughs> movie like fucking trilogy of shit. You're just like waiting. My for stomach it. dies. And if you have dogs, it's even worse. Like, it was it the pizza? Did they bark for pizza? <laughs> did they bark yeah, for did pizza? the pizza get here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the it tastes like it tastes so good. I love it because I love Cheez Its and I love pepperoni. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, why don't I mix the two together? <laughs> and it tasted really good. The Cheez It just gives it a nice little. Uh, I don't know how to like describe the flavor of a cheese it, but like a pep 
uh, not a pepper, <laughs> a salty, like, tang. Like, I don't know, Cheez-Its are good. <laughs> I don't know how to, to, to describe things, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it, it's good, it's good, it's mwah. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. <laughs> um. Wow, I thought the central tragedy of the 21st century was that we're gradually destroying the planet with every convenience we enjoy, but we're all so removed from the consequences of our actions that we will continue to be manipulated by our corporate masters until we're all living on a desolate cinder. Bruh. <laughs> wow, too deep, game, too deep. <laughs> No, it's just the pizza one. <laughs> just the pizza one? <laughs> I want some popcorn thing. Oh, that's a relief. That other one seems super depressing. Right? Oh my god. Uh -huh. Not having pizza is depressing! Not I want pizza, pizza right now! Too. Right now! <laughs> Sometimes when we're waiting for pizza, I get so hungry I can eat a horse. Me too! I could eat an entire horse's ass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you chase down and kill a horse in an orgy of blast? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh my god, the talk of orgies in this game. <laughs> it's just uh, wanting me to have an orgy. It's trying to brainwash me. <laughs> what? No, usually I eat corn chips and watch TV, watch sports <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> the sports I'm TV. I'm really bummed while I'm doing it. The sports bowls. Everybody, please. <laughs> please, I have a feeling uh, there might be an orgy in our future. <laughs> uh, don't look at me. I'm joking. <laughs> Help! Kyra's gonna molest me, I? I'm hiding! Help me, he's touching me! <laughs> Molester! No, I'm kidding, he's he's not actually molesting me. Plus one happiness! Plus one happiness. Plus one horniness. Get away from me, Kyra! <laughs> Um, everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Football. And just to be clear, he's not actually molesting oh. me. I was I joking. Pushed the button. <laughs> I pushed the button too soon. You have to say your option. Oh, wait. What was it? <laughs> say an object. An object? Uh, I won't even read this so I can't cheat. Okay. I'm covering it. Um, an object. A skateboard! Player or society based on how easy it would be to convince people you are a wizard if you traveled back to the time <gasps> to no ages. What did you object. say? I said football. <gasps> skateboard, skateboard! <laughs> would be more likely to be a wizard then. Yo, look at me doing this fucking sweet ass kickflip, bruh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be the coolest wizard ever. Somebody has to make that happen. <laughs> it's the 90s shit ever. That would be such a fun movie, skateboarding wizard who can travel back in time. You're a skater, Harry. You're a skater. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a what? A skater. <laughs> well, I know so I said maybe somebody would poop their pants, but I'm about to freaking pee my pants. <laughs> um, let's see. You know, I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be a good little girl. I'm gonna go to class. What's a night class? What the fuck? Yeah, class at night. I need the extra studies. <laughs> And the teacher is pretty hot. No, I'm How are you getting an A in that class? Though? How am I getting an A? Um, that day you're the first one in class. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. Oh, is he hot? He's a bit bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling at cliche movie tropes. <laughs> you gain plus two smarts. Plus one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. I wish I was young again. That'd be nice. <laughs> You're daydreaming about how Damien would look walking down the aisle. Don't see <laughs> am I, what am I getting married now? <laughs> I'm just like, Damien the dragon. Or no, uh, what's Damien's last name again? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love oh, this guy, God. but I don't know his last name. I guess he's taking my last name. Which is just like the dragon because I didn't give myself a last name. <laughs> Me here with a last name. <laughs> I don't have one. I'm just Trini. That's it. Like share. That did escalate fast. I'm like, wow. <laughs> if only life were actually that easy. <laughs> when you see Damien walking down the aisle halfway towards you. Ooh. Hey, Damien. Yo, so listen, don't be uncool about this or make it a big thing, but 
I think you're pretty rad. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. <laughs> I love when you treat me like kind of shit. <laughs> so I thought it might be sweet if we could, you know, do some crime together. <laughs> Would you be into that? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, no worries, big potato. Yeah, Welcome back. I mean, could you even fucking handle that? I mean, I think I can handle you, Damien. Uh, I think I can mm -hmm. handle you. I just see you up against <laughs> him with your finger around his fucking pecs and shit. No, my hand is going to that freaking horn. Oh, <gasps> okay, <laughs> I need to calm down. I need a bonk She's hammer. Drooling. I need a bonk hammer. Um, yes, of course you could and would and should. What kind of crime are you into these days? Oh my god, I can't stop burping. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quick, suggest the most badass and romantic crime for an excellent date with Damien. <laughs> uh, tax fraud and light treason. Dinner in a movie, only the movie is arson. Or no, the, the dinner is so. arson and the movie- Oh, the movie is also arson, so I was fine. So the second one is- ARSON! <laughs> yes! I knew my boy liked fire. Look at him, he's my little red hey, bull Fire! Bull. Fire! Hey! Hey! Fire! Oh my God, <laughs> fire! I'm gonna, fire! I'm fire! I'm gonna bonk you. Mm -hmm. I have a inflatable lightsaber. <laughs> I really do. Just thinking of fucking. Oh, I want Lucky Charms, but I want just a bag of only the marshmallows. <laughs> it's got a Costco trip coming mm -hmm. up. Arson and arson, bitch, marry me. Wait, are you actually- did it actually time you out? Or you're just joking? Okay. <laughs> I was like, did it actually time you out? Uh, I would have cried because I didn't see that. Oh. <laughs> scared me. Um, sounds like my kind of night. Damien picks you up and presents you with a bouquet of matches and lighters, <laughs> which you blush and happily accept. <laughs> ah! <laughs> orgy, 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 damn it. Mods get a pass. Orgy, oh, orgy, yeah, because baked sorry. potato is a mod. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> she wanted to be punished. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've been a bad boy. I said bad <laughs> words in the Twitter chat. I should go to bad boy jail. Oh Ooh. my gosh. I'm gonna ban you. Wait, no, you're right next to me. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, Rainy, I've been a bad, bad mod. Punish me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... If you can't flirt with your mods, then, I mean, who can you flirt with? Right. Uh, Baked Potato knows I'm kidding. Yeah. Her husband would beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, Damien picks you up and presents you with a... Oh, I already read that. The two of you head off to the fanciest restaurant you know. Le Chateau de... <laughs> yeah. I mean, and you, if you can't flirt with your best friend, then I mean, <laughs> are you even best friends? <laughs> you smile. I mean, I mean, we've seen some stuff and we know some stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's just for fun. <laughs> I found a body on the train tracks once. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but we are hetero life mates, so. <laughs> hetero life mates? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that, um, James on the wall yet, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think you've only seen, um, Clerks, Clerks and... Mall rats, Yeah, mall rat. Dogma. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Poor Kyrie. Yeah, you should be able to have fun with your friends. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, I, I have to be able to, like, joke around, or I'm like, this isn't very fun. Mm -hmm. I have to have friends that don't judge me for a weird idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Bob, and she's the J. Was, of course I'm Bob. <laughs> I was I used to not be able to even talk to anybody really, especially guys. I could not do <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god. You smile at him early as Damien pulls out your chair for you and then sets it on fire. How romantic. 
<laughs> you confidently order off the menu for both of you before setting both menus on fire. I mean, I would not order for him. I don't even want to order for myself. <laughs> um, he can order for me, though. That'd be great. <laughs> After a delicious meal, the two of you flirtily, flirtily squabble over whose absolute pleasure it would be to pick up the check as the flames rage high all around <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he looks so cute. What is up with, like, red-skinned characters that drives me? Oh. <laughs> Wait, that must mean you like Hellboy, though. I do like Hellboy. He's so hot. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it, 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 he is fucking built like a fucking god, though. I mean, yeah, I like bigger guys. I mean, I don't really care what people look like, but there's something about a bigger guy, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like him <I'm> chunky. <laughs> I love South Park. I love, um, God, I think, you know, I think Kenny is my favorite. It's hard to choose, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giggling? Because we're poor, like Kenny. <laughs> Alright, that's rude. <laughs> but... I said we're poor, like Kenny. Oh, I thought you said, because you're poor, like Kenny. I was like, what? I mean, I am poor, but... <laughs> but like Kenny, though? I mean, I used to be, I mean... Except for, like, the dying part. <laughs> um. <laughs> calm down. He's gonna, I think he's gonna pee his pants. Nah. <laughs> um. Ready to head out for more arson. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah, you are. The two of you head out to a movie. Immediately setting your ticket stubs on fire. <laughs> Take your, you take your seats and set the room in front of you on fire. You talk through the previews as the flames leap higher and higher, bathing you in a romantic glow. I mean, flames are pretty romantic. <laughs> oh my god. It's the hottest date of all time in so, so many ways. <laughs> um, hey, I had a really nice time tonight. The only thing better than the arson was the more ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dang. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Okay. I mean, I don't know how I'd feel about an orgy, but a monster orgy, that could be pretty fun. <laughs> Grimax. <laughs> yeah, hang in. Designer says hang in there, Kyrie. Oh, I will. <laughs> hang in there, buddy. My poor femboy body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, that was an old message. I was waiting confirmation while I was dealing with something in real life. What, Axion? What happened? What was an old message? Axion, tell me! Tell me, boy! Tell me! Imagination Land episode. I'll be lurking, but here. Oh yeah, no worries. Love ya! Thanks for the raid and showing up! I will shout you out on Twitter, because I don't know if you were here or not when I said, but my shout out thing for some reason never got set up, so I have to figure that out. <laughs> but everybody, go give Baked Potato a follow, and lots of love, she's adorable, the cutest potato. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, thanks, Axion, yeah, you can allow messages for me because you're my mod. Like, it's fine that you you weren't here. I know you can't be here like every second, <laughs> but thank you for doing that. You're the best, Maudie. Bye, baked. I'll pro. I mean, um, I'll probably talk to you later if you're. I'm sure you'll be awake. Um. Yeah, more arson. Mm -hmm. Arson. Arson. I do like to burn stuff. <laughs> I used to burn my Barbie dolls. I think something's wrong with oh, no. me. <laughs> I'm gonna die, okay. Is he actually blushing? Or is that just the heat from all the sun <laughs> Oh my fucking god. The state was literal fire, but no, like, actually literal fire. You gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Yes! Alright. Alright. Well, that was quite the adventure you had there. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathrooms. I was doing a Michael Jackson lean while I was drinking my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That day you skip class and hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny big ear big eyed turtle with your bare hands. 
that monstrous act would instantly give you plus 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You gotta keep two plus bonus um, boldness anyway, for saying that to yourself out loud. I like a mushroom. Mushroom. You realize you're feeling like a. Wait. Then you realize you're feeling like going full ghost. Oh with your no, again. not again. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did you do? You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. Damien. You're about to get closer when I suddenly. No, not him no. again. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. Ew. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I am here to rescue you for your, from your mundane existence. Just sign these marriage papers. <laughs> <laughs> Not this guy again. Look! Whoa. <gasps> An underworld spectre. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> this again. What again? Leon, this is clearly a kick-ass, powerful ghost. Look at its face, mm -hmm. so deadpan. No expression at all. That's because it's not a face. It's a sheet <laughs> with two holes Damian, cut in Damien, no! You're that stupid too! <laughs> oh, why do I like them stupid? <laughs> Funny and stupid. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> oh. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. <laughs> That would be fucking mad. <laughs> Damien, oh don't God. get the drill. Are you gonna be doing some body mods, to me? I mean, I'm into some, like, oh, you know, piercings and stuff, but I don't know about holes in your face. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, listen, it's not a face, it's... Ghost friend, help us! Save us from this interdimensional creep! Yeah, do something. Something ghostly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, throw a rock at the interdimensional prince. Hell yes. Oh my god, you did it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Inappropriate. The only violence I tolerate is violence of love. When a man faces his pure love. Forces. Forces love unto his non-mutual lovers. <laughs> what? Uh, that and the violence imposed by my army, usually alongside the former type of violence. I will... I will be back for you, my young lovers. That, that guy's a creep. The shit out of me. <laughs> fucking <laughs> grooming ass bastard. Oh, Superb. Metal. That ghost just beat the prince with its ghost power. <laughs> he just threw a rock at him. Dude, pay attention. It clearly was a ghost rock. What's the difference between a rock and a ghost rock? <laughs> One is a rock, and the other one is a fucking ghost rock! <laughs> you do realize my question, right? GHOST ROCK?! He's a <laughs> Yeah, throwing oh, a rock God. at your problems like a champ! Game <laughs> plus two fun and plus one bolts. Okay, okay. This game is so ridiculous, but All I love right. it! Okay. Gotta ask... The oh, wow, we made it already? Okay, yep. Who's turn- oh, it's me. Obviously, Damien. Ask Damien to the prom. Damien, will you go to the prom with me? Ew. <laughs> if that doesn't work, I don't know what I'm will. I'm try Zoe. Yeah, I think you had some good interactions with her. Some great interactions this time. Last time I didn't get good interactions with her. This time I yeah. <laughs> All right. We have played this game once before. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Are you for real? Oh, that's very flattering. <laughs> but I can never do to you. You see, my favorite secret ship has been Kyrie times a bowl of cereal. Uh. Don't get me wrong, you're funny and sort of sexy, but what kind of person would I be if I destroyed my favorite ship ever? A monster, but like the bad kind. Oh, and yes. you like Sonic, so hard to pass. What's this? Uh, no! <laughs> I should have done Scott again, Scott! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry, don't like you. You became a functional person and eventually you met a sweet banshee called Ash. <laughs> she shared lots of common interests and after dating for some years, you married. 
One day, in the middle of a casual conversation, you mentioned you couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure <laughs> such a <laughs> pathetic revelation, and so Ash abandoned you to the next day. Or abandoned you the next day, I think. And thus, you lived the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget Monster Prom. Uh-oh. Is that your controller? It is yours. But the light's on. Can keep going? It is on. Hit A. Um... You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Oh no! Yep, Mine's this. not doing anything now! I hate this so much. Oh, last time this happened we couldn't finish and I wanna see my thing! Oh, there thank god. Go. Prom? With you? You dumb fuck! That's a fucking great- Oh god! Damn it! Oh! Oh, you tricked me so hard! Oh, and designer said, ouch, to Zoe dumping you. Uh, well, not going to the prom with you. Zoe, why did I do this? We could have enjoyed fanfic together. I'm not a fanfic I know, my, the stupid controller. Shit. I almost thought we were going to not be able to continue again. Whew. That's a fucking great idea. Are you some kind of genius or something? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. My, my, I'm kind of, like, maybe smart. <laughs> I'll tell you what you are. My day to prom. <laughs> oh, he's so handsome. Prom night was awesome. You and Damien reflected on all the fucked up misadventures you had over the past few weeks. You've definitely been your worst self. After some good laughs, you conclude, well, I'm definitely going to hell. He stayed silent after a bit after that, then he added, you know what? I see no problem with that. Oh! <laughs> best night ever! <laughs> okay, you got- Yeah, you need to go get a bowl of cereal, Kyrie, <laughs> to make Zoe <somebody> happy! <laughs> um, let's see. You got best at recognizing the nuances between black metal and death metal. Yeah! yeah. That. Zoe, best waifu. <laughs> Alright. Oh, press A again. Now, we must go to the next one. Oh, after this. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does. Life happened, and it was wonderful. Is life wonderful? Is it? <laughs> Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Oh, well, that makes sense. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and chic. <laughs> Due to the obscene amount of fan art she drew, Zoe was taken by Jim Davis, renowned creator of the Garfield <laughs> as his protege. Nowadays, Garfield still hates Mondays and loves lasagna, but you can bet he's into lots of weird stuff, too. <laughs> Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. <laughs> I mean, that's not too bad. For those two weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And those were the days of our lives. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty okay at metal. I like rock more, though. Like, punk rock is my favorite, though. I know, Kyrie loves hardcore metal, though. <laughs> I listen to all sorts of shit. Like... Just starting on the lighter spectrum is Ozzy. Going a lot further, I can't even pronounce half the shit, but like, one I can think of is Equilibrium, Necrogobicon, shit like that. This is so cute! <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, classic rock is good too. It is. I mean,. Who doesn't like to listen to Welcome to the Jungle over and over and over again? <laughs> Especially while playing Black Ops. Yeah. 
while I get fucking down for the 95th time. I mean, if this child of mine comes on and you're not singing, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> There's metal and rock music, but what does wood music sound like or salt? <laughs> what? He's obviously, he's making an oh, element joke. Well, would the wood be woodblock music, wouldn't it? Yeah, woodblock music would be wood where you're just hitting on wood like that. Um, salt music would be singers that are always extra salty. <laughs> you son of a bitch! You took my fucking violin Under strings! That's how salty they are. Unlocked. Right. You have unlocked nine new images in the gallery. Alright, I'm gonna take control of her. Oh, we have to go to another thingy. Yes. Eh, it's just me and the blackness! That was pretty funny, Axion. <laughs> Twitter rage song fun. I could hmm. make songs out of people's Twitter rage. That would be hilarious, actually. <laughs> I love creating stupid songs. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah! Axion. I know where you live, Axion. I can see you, Axion. Are you scared? <laughs> I love yeah. that I can go into the into the nothingness. There we go. I can see. <laughs> I can see him. I know. I know where X. Oh no, where'd I go? Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm back. I'm okay. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, Axion. Dragons can see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin looks so shiny, Axion. Shiny enough, I just want to bite it. <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, hey, here we go. Axion's one of my friends for... God, we've been friends for, what, eight, nine years now? It's been a really long time. <laughs> So actually, I do. I know where he lives, just not like the house. <laughs> I need to. But remove... I can change that. <laughs> I need to remove an article of clothing because I'm too hot right now. Oh my gosh. Pants or shirt? Uh, pants. Okay. Take it off. Take it off. Uh, it's so hot in here. I'm gonna turn the fan on. <gasps> oh yeah, I saw your charging cord. It's under your bed, all the way at the end to the left. <laughs> oh my god, Kyrie's in his underwear. Okay. Oh, uh, hello there. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. I love that voice I do for Zoe. <laughs> I'll, I'll, give, I'll tell you guys a secret. I plug in my nose to do Zoe's voice. <laughs> That's why it sounds so weird. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad my stocking helped you. <laughs> So we're doing camp monster camp XXO. Ooh. <laughs> monster road trip. Wait. Um Yes, voice injection. Sweet. Okay. Voice effects could be fun though, but I do like how cute there's a so we're doing two players. Uh, we're uh on game short game? Yep. Okay, short game. Uh one for each. There's this freaking guy with a knife back. <laughs> No! <laughs> ah, Camp Spooky! The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then we were young and unafraid, with school far away. Everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. I actually liked summer camp. I went to the uh, YMCA summer camp where I live and it was pretty fun, actually. Nice. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Um, of course I'm gonna be the same girl. Um, I know how to custom my name this time. Uh, Rini. Choop. And I'm she. Okay. Oh, she, you gotta pick stuff to bring. Oh, I get three items. Crop marshmallows, insect. Eradicator, a penguin mask, a sketchbook, a north face facing moss, too many crosswords, a magic mirror, and an 
I'm gonna get a recorder because <laughs> that seems like it's gonna be annoying. A penguin mask because <laughs> and a magic mirror. <laughs> What is that bit of, oh, what the fuck? They have other skins. Oh, how do I do that? Can Get I go back? back? Hippie. No, it won't let me. Back to menu. I'll let you be able yeah, to Yeah, I didn't menu. see that. That's not fair. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'll you, just skip. Huh? When you're on a character, you just push up. I'll skip the thingy since I just read it. Yep. Do, 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 do. Summer camp's gonna be awesome! Okay, what do I click? Up. Up? Oh. Eh! No! And then, okay, that's interesting. Ooh! Ooh. She's cute! More your style. Yeah! Definitely not needing her Susan. Oh, let me actually use the keyboard again. <laughs> I just think it's easier. Um, okay. Yeah! Oh, no, I'm a she. I'm a she. Thank you. Oh, no, my items are different. I think it's so I'm gonna different do... for the different characters. Oh, okay, so I'm going to still do the recorder, because I think that's funny. Shades of fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> the muscles. Yeah, that is pretty funny. <laughs> I think you'd hard as fuck on. hard thingy. Hard as fuck hard tack? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Look at the... Um, you could be Zoe, funny. do it! I, if I, I'll have to do the voice Oh, look at that oh. guy! Oh, he's so cute, oh my god! Oh, I'm playing him. BM, he's so cute! Oh my gosh, he's adorable. What is it with, like, demon boys that I think are so cute? <laughs> where, am all my, where are all my demon boys at? Hit me up. <laughs> I think a lot of people are like, oh yeah. Demon Boys, everybody remembers, um, like, what is his, what was that guy from Danger Dolan? Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, everybody was, like, in love with him because he had such a deep voice. How about? Pick your, oh, yeah, help it. You need to pick your thingies. I know, and there's that other guy. <laughs> orgy etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Not orgies again, oh my god. Ooh, look, spaghetti! Spaghetti? I can't believe you're not taking the spaghetti instantly. What is your spaghetti policy around here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> One might say that the monster prom had hardened dust on hardened us on the highs and lows of love. I mean we were hard alright. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. <laughs> and summer camp was no different. <laughs> what popped into my head? What? She always saying, when you're hard, you're hard. Oh my god. <laughs> no one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our heads. Aw, summer loving happened so fast. <laughs> I don't even like Greece. <laughs> <laughs> And those songs do get stuck in your head. I need another drink. I was dying. <laughs> this is the most talking I've done in days. Days. Days, I tell you. Yeah. Um, close to last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just two weeks away. Everyone, they like worded that kind of weird. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. Oh, how romantic. I wish I could stay up like late enough, but I'd probably like fall asleep on someone like in their lap and just be like. Why don't she stayed up and watched um, shooting stars and stuff? Aww. I even had a telescope and shit. That's so cute. I uh, like watching shooting stars picnic date or something Aww. it really has to be like during the summer though because it's <laughs> too fuck cold you know who am i kidding my snores are probably like <sighs> <laughs> your snoring ain't that bad because i can sleep with it <laughs> and then our other roommate we can hear through the walls like <laughs> 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 oh my god his snoring 
And so, did I just skip something? I might have. Might. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain, everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. One thing? Can I see your phone real quick so I can change the game? Oh yeah! We probably should do that. Proper snoring should be able to be played over Homer Simpson seeing a dog. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't even know how to like make the noise he does, do you, Kyrie? Uh, I don't even know what his sounds like. I thought you liked The Simpsons. But I haven't really heard him snore much because I'm so in early No, seasons. like the no the noise he makes when he's like eating a donut, like seeing mm. a donut. Donut. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> that's not even close. Hey, we got a new girl. She looks adorable. Wait, no, I think that's the leader of the witches. It is. She's actually a character. That Joe you can try and date Johnson, Johima, twenty-three, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. <gasps> oh, someone new, oh. new. Um, Ararvi Mishra. 22, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. <laughs> Calculaster! Uh, calculus. Stop being rude to my boy! He's even got a smiling face! A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Da Dahlia Aquino, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. She's pretty cute. Maybe I found a demon this time. <laughs> demon! LeVay's last name. Yeah, okay. I'm now Rini LeVay, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm taken. I'm taken by this beautiful red demon. Unless you're a red demon, too. I don't want to even talk to you. Don't even go in my DMs. Then hell bend this slides <laughs> into your DMs. You're no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Kyrie, I need some new panties. Ew. Um, God, look at him being choked. Oh, so hot. No, okay. <laughs> um, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction uh, and a love of fire and a love of re- <laughs> <laughs> and Milo Belladonna, 23, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who was profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. I mean, he's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. He's even got cute nail polish. That's the, like more of the pink that I need to get. I mean, I yeah, that's pink. cute. Mm. Um, the bus trip was long and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. Okay. And so it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice, causing a good impression with the right person. Oh no, I don't know how to make good impressions, <laughs> what do I do? Um, which of these animals do you like the most? Chickens, they can <laughs> kill you? Tamagotchis, okay, oh, I know you're picking that. It's hard Badgers, they don't yes. give a fuck. Peacocks, crocodiles, especially when thrown <laughs> at me. Cats. Crocodiles? I'm actually gonna go cats because I do like cats more than my Tamagotchi. Crocodiles are cute. They're kinda cute, but not we being thrown see... at me. Oh, I got. Mm. No, I don't like you! <laughs> wait! Oh, uh, wait. Um. How should we do her? Do you wanna do her? You haven't done any of the girls yet, I don't I think. I can try, I'm not good. Wait. <clears throat> no, one's right. Wait. <laughs> You're, you like crocodiles too, Rini? They're my favorite animal. They're also my favorite workout regimen, regime partner. Nothing gets you working those glutes and calves like running from a pissed off croc. Usually people tell me my obsession with crocodile is unhealthy and somewhat deadly. I mean, yeah, look at all your scars. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad they're here to... No, I'm, they're not... I'm glad they're not here to preach to me. I can't wait to do some croc workouts together at camp. Woo! Oh. Joy, okay. Um, well, I was already voicing her last time, so. Oh, you like cats, Kyrie? So do I. You have to click oh, it. Oh, sorry. They're so fun and bendy, and they've been the loyal companion to witches for hundreds of years. I Maybe guess. that means you could be my loyal companion. Perhaps the universe is trying to tell me something. Mm, maybe. 
<laughs> AMSR. <laughs> ASMR. I don't mean to. I should consult my divination cards before I make any promises, but I look forward to seeing more of you at camp. Wink. <laughs> I think Axion said something too. Why don't you like this demon as much as Rini? She's clearly slightly hornier than Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, why don't you like the... that demon? I do like the blue demon. <laughs> oh, wait, or do you mean why I don't like it, Axion? I mean, she's cute. I just... I only have eyes for Damien. Only Damien. We only had two weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. Wait, does that mean we have to go after those girls? Because no, I don't... Okay. Because I don't want... <laughs> But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start doing Damien. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> okay. I've never been to camp, so, so I just let me go first. Yep. Okay. Um, what the? Camp dome. That sounds like. I want to go to the camp be. dome. No. <laughs> That day at the camp dome, you all do thumb wars. <laughs> that means the campers are waging war against the- Oh, thumb warriors. The supernaturally buff thumb monsters from Camp Thumb. <laughs> it's surprisingly terrifying. You all were sure to lose, but thanks to your quick thinking, you hatch a plan to fight the thumb warriors with their greatest weakness, predators <laughs> without uh, opposable thumbs. <laughs> Some may say that your team your team sticking a pack of rapid mountain lions on the competitors <laughs> is cheating, but you prefer the term strategic. You gain plus two charm. Yes! <laughs> Later you're caught up in an intense game of capture the flag with camp rival camp. <laughs> you thought it would be kind of fun. You were wrong. The dome has become an active war zone. There are full-scale military hierarchies, weapons of mass destruction, and lots of death on both sides. Dang it, none of the people I want. Ah! Luckily, you're not on the front lines. You, Dahlia, um, I'm gonna just call her Ravi. Ravi and Calculister are guarding camp. Spooky's jail. Jail is just a chalk square you draw on the ground, <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, hi. He's got his fucking crotch hair out of his pants. Oh, <laughs> boy. Hi. hi. <laughs> Um, but you've got a prisoner. It's Morty. <laughs> oh my God! Voice him like Morty. Oh jeez, Rick. <laughs> if he talks, I, I don't hope he know talks. What's going on anymore? The wildly bangable minotaur wildly from Camp bangable. Rival Camp. Oh my God! <laughs> he keeps stripping his clothes off and hip thrusting to just to seduce you for his freedom. <laughs> oh my God. Oh jeez, enjoy it while you can, idiots! I don't. I won't be inside your pathetic jail for long. And no container can hold me with Rick around. That's why I never wear condoms. Oh, uh, it's not a big deal. Shut your mouth, scum! Unless you're going to tell us the location of your team's flag. If that's the case, then you can open your mouth to speak. But otherwise, shut it. Oh, assless chaps! Oh no! <laughs> oh, this one's so much better than the last game. <laughs> oh, you think I'm gonna give that? A I can't even do that voice for him anymore. <laughs> Just do it. It's okay. <laughs> I'll never tell you the location of our flag unless one of you has a lot of sex with me. Oh, Wait, geez. did it actually say that? Yes. Oh, I'm boiled up and ready to be tortured. What is happening? This is just supposed to be fun camp. I mean, the <laughs> <laughs> there are the band camp stories, though. I don't think this what? is band camp. No. <laughs> what the fuck? It's from American Pie. Um, shit, you need to get Morty to tell you the location of the flag, or the Pacific campaign is going to drag on forever. Dahlia pulls you all aside to discuss your interrogation plan. <laughs> this one time at band camp. <laughs> all right, we, <laughs> all right, we gotta get this slutty bowl to crack. I think it's gonna be 
easy. I think it's gonna be easy, but let's just agree right now. Nobody stoop to fucking him. We're better prison guards than that. <laughs> Agreed. If we're going to torture a Minotaur until he gives away precious war secrets, then let's do it with some motherfucking integrity. What? Understood. I have blacklisted Morty the Minotaur from my potential sexual partner classification. <laughs> 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 oh my god. What the fuck have we walked into? <laughs> okay. Allison Hannigan is so cute. Clayton, thank you oh, for joining. Hi, Clayton. Best kitty boy. Great to see ya. Alright, <clears throat> see if I can get back into the voice. <laughs> okay, with that out of the way, let's talk strategy. I saw he rip his teeth out. That's a classic move because it works. Because <laughs> it works. While that does seem like it would be effective, I am afraid it is against my non-torture protocols. I would feel more comfortable with another strategy, please. Jeez. Hi, hi! Yeah, there's a very horny minotaur. He's just off-screen being just creepy. I just to voice him with uh, Morty's voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing assless chaps and his crotch hair was sticking out the front of his pants. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Cal is right. Teeth ripping is basic as fuck. And Morty's got a buff mouth. <laughs> Let's waterboard him. It'll be edgy and hilarious. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> um, hex organic beans require oxygen to breathe. Waterboarding is very painful for them, and also waterboarding violates the Geneva Conventions. It's a protocol violation. <laughs> Cagalusters, stop freaking out! Listen, this is war! It, we do whatever it takes <laughs> to win! Nothing else matters! <laughs> I can't carry this one. Oh, actually, so these are two like separate like entities. I've been yes. voicing them with the same voice. Well, they've been using the same thing anyway. No, because last time it was actually oh. the- Okay, so I need to remember that. Dahlia's right. Calculester, do you understand what will happen if we don't get the flag location out of that Minotaur? We'll lose the whole game. Do you want to lose the game? Ever, ever. Oh, you guys all lost the game. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm evil. Evil! I lost the game. <laughs> um, Violation, first law of robotics. Restart required. Install system updates. Yes. No. Later. <laughs> we'll do hmm. later. You're not good at reading facial cues, but you're pretty sure your friends are kind of stressed out right now. Please have a what fine yet rustic arti architecture moment. Explain yourself, Axion. I'm too stupid no. to know what you mean, <laughs> or what's that? What that's from? If it's from something. Quick, figure out how to get Morty the Minotaur to tell you his war secrets without resorting to one fucking or two torture. <laughs> um, it's easy to make an online quiz and for the third question ask, where is your team's flag <laughs> hidden? It's obvious one of you needs to go undercover, posing as another prisoner, and build up a report with Morty to earn his trust. Oh, that's uh, hard. That one? Oh, no! <laughs> So, I need a voice for this thing. Um, why? That's dope idea, you guys. I take like 40,000 quizzes a day. It's basically therapy at this point. <laughs> Casual digital quizzes do not technically violate any of my torture protocols. I am in favor of this interrogation strategy. Yay! <laughs> You guys spend a few minutes making the most irresistible <laughs> quiz possible. What flavors of ice cream are you? You return to the to interrogate Morty. <laughs> oh, there they are again. And oh, see, cheeks. um, that's why Axion, because I have not seen that movie. What movie? The Gamers Dorkness Rising. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't see that. I haven't seen it. Um. Oh jeez, you want more of me already? Damn! I guess it's true what they say. Camp Spooky Babes really are insatiable, eh, Rick? Oh my god. Eat shit and die, scum, and also take this quiz or else we'll stab you. You toss your phone to Morty so he can read through the quiz and hopefully give you all of his war secrets and ab focused workout routines. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gross. Like I'm getting 
stabbed. I got stabbed. Just another kind of penetration. If you ask me. Uh, but fine, whatever. I'll take your loser ass quiz. Oh, it's on YouTube. I'll go. I'll look it up after this. Or if you want to send me a link on Discord, that's fine too. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa, what flavor of ice cream am I? Now I gotta know. Ha! You know what? I should oh. be pistachio because my outside is hard and I'm full of nut. <laughs> <laughs> no. Question one. What is your favorite color? Obviously, I'm going to pick pistachio green as my answer, but nipple pink is my second choice oh my god all right question two where's your when's your birthday hmm i was born on may 1st but i think i'm more of a pistachio flavor answer to say i was born in december 18th oh my god okay question three where's the camp rival camp camp hide there oh, i missed it oh whoops <laughs> I didn't do that. feel like a pistachio cream type person and answer their flags inside their shelves so just got to type it inside my hard nut shell. Done. Oh, that did not work. Damn, this boy would have been a tour to hell. He didn't fall for it. Stupid idea, Rainy. Hmm. This one, er, er, I don't know what to say. Hmm, it's like hmm. robotic. Hmm. This interrogation strategy was ineffective. I am recalibrating recalibra my evaluation of Rini's intelligence, oh. usefulness, and overall value as a person. Oh, <laughs> you see why I don't like Calculuster now? Calculuster, we were best bros. We should have waterboarded him. Fuck, you failed to get this war ending info from Morty, and your friends hate you for just suggesting this non lethal interrogation tactic. Hmm. Man, we roasted Dan. <laughs> negative one smarts. Oh, oh, oh. negative two fun. No. <laughs> oh no! Followed a bunch of not safe for work Twitters. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I got roasted. Oh, calculator. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> Boom, roasted. No. Where would I hang out? Oh no, I'm out of drink. Yeah. Probably the scout headquarters or the lake, so I'll go with the headquarters for now. Oh, you're reading books, the thing you don't like to do. Oh no, bear <laughs> attacks though! It's called bear attacks. Wow. Alright, that day there's a guest speaker at Monster Scout's headquarters. She's a were eagle monster scout here to tell you about advancing through the levels. Her speech was surprisingly interesting. She started out at Camp Spooky just like you um, and worked super hard to earn every single badge. She also hits that at some possible final play, including her murdering a higher class, higher level uh, scout and wearing her skin as a disguise in order to advance through the ranks. She sure is inspiring. You are too busy flirting with your friends to dedicate that kind of time to Monster Scouts. But still, her speech instills with you plus two creativity. Oh man, I want creativity. You meet up with Joey to help her practice her uh, dramatic looks when suddenly your nose detects the unmistakable scent <laughs> of. Dimitri. From the darkness. Oh shit. Oh! Indeed, my little somewhat foe, and definitely not potential love interest. No, no, that's not what you smelled at all. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> no, just... no, that's not what you smelled at all. It smelled much more like coach in a bear costume. Oh, my God. Ah! oh shit. <laughs> bear attack! Bear attack! I'm a bear and I'm attacking! Or <laughs> I'm not actually a bear. I'm just your good old high school coach who cares a lot about. I know you're not actually a bear coach. Can't you see I'm busy having a climatic and steamy showdown with my sometimes foe and definitely not secret love crush? Oh, I said love crush. <laughs> <laughs> yes, be gone, foolish bear tiger. What do we care for bear safety when, this, when the very fate of the world hangs in the balance? What? Do we care for bear safety? What do we care for bear, sa 
Bear safety? <laughs> Only... Oh, kids, you need bear safety drill more than I thought. Back on, 100% of failed bear attacks result from the death of one or more people. That's... That... <laughs> that... Just... just <laughs> that... That... That statistic is... Tautological. <laughs> Tautological, I think. That's what I said, I think. <laughs> Fact: 100% of bear attacks happen when it's one bear. At least one bear is present. Where do you get these bear facts? Fact: Bears do not pee during hibernation. Hmm. That's actually a pretty interesting fact. But there aren't any real bears here, and even if there were, Dimitri is far more dangerous than a bear. <laughs> Oh, really? Then explain why I, your coach, who cares so deeply about your well-being, am dressed in a bear costume and not a Dimitri costume. <laughs> <laughs> Joy's clearly not going to beat Coach of Logic, and she's not going to beat Dimitri at all if you don't help. But how can you prove to Coach that Dimitri is the bigger priority? This is the coaching crane taxidermy that properly assesses the dangerousness of every single animal so you can truly see that um, vampire lords are greater than bears. Convince coach that uh, Dimitri is actually a bear. Oh my god, is that what you're going to do? Um, <laughs> I think I am. Oh! Dimitri a bear? No, it couldn't be! No, it totally is. I mean, if you can be a were tiger in a bear suit, why can't Dimitri be a bear in a sexy vampire suit? <laughs> you are, t you two have opened my eyes. Bears have become more crafty than they expected. <laughs> <laughs> is no one going to ask me whether I'm a bear? Because I'm not. There's no room for a bear inside this. this Savannah. <laughs> His old package. <laughs> That's exactly what a bear would say. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it though? Because I'm 99% sure I'm not a bear. Only 99? Why not a hundred? Yeah, why not a hundred? Bears! Oh my god, Kyrie's going off the rails, guys. <laughs> bears! Beats! Battlestar Galactica! No! I'm a human! No. I'm a pioneer! No! And I'm coming! <laughs> well, I didn't read him! <laughs> or are you a bear that has disguised itself so well that it's convinced it's not a bear? I think about that. That's me! <laughs> this is going downhill. Yeah, it's going downhill real fast. <laughs> Somebody send help. <laughs> when did I start challenging Alex Jones' insanity? Yeah, what is wrong with you? Think about it, Dimitri. I would er, <laughs> it would explain a lot. <gasps> like what? Well, for one thing, you don't go outside during the day at all in winter. Hibernate much? I'm a vampire. It's a vampire thing. <sighs> and bears have very sharp teeth, just like you! <gasps> Again, vampire. <laughs> But Dimitri, haven't you ever considered that bears are just vampires with more body hair? What? I, I'm not a bear. Am I? I'm not, am I? I have to go wax my whole body. You haven't seen the last of me, mortals. <laughs> Dimitri flash vanishes in a puff of confusion. Coach pats you and Joy on the backs. You well, you look like I... Well, it looks like I was wrong. You two are prepared to handle bear attack. You certainly handled that take one. Care I'll take you believing. back to whatever you were doing. Remember, don't look a gift bear in the mouth. <laughs> in fact, don't look any bear in the mouth. You know what you're doing, <laughs> um, all the fun is at the bottom of the hill. Come along with us. Um, actually, Axion, all the fun is down this storm drain. Come play with me, little boy. It's okay. Mm, Everything's fun down here. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> home. Ma! Ma, the creepy clown is bugging me again! <laughs> Ma! I'm not creepy. 
<laughs> what does everybody call me creepy? <laughs> poor, yeah, poor Dimitri. He just got a... Uh, God, what's the word for it? Well, he got like... Burned. Um, mm, I guess that works. But yeah, poor Dimitri. <laughs> Storm Dream Party. Yes, I'm the best it. I'm so scary. <laughs> <laughs> um... I admit that's not the tactic I would have chosen, but perhaps your unorthodox tactics will make you a welcome addition on my future adventures, maybe, as a guest star. <laughs> guest star spot? A spot reserved for super hot love interests. Plus, <laughs> in shorten it to <laughs> G-spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweet deal. You're getting plus two charm and plus one bonus. Good job. Good job. Three places. Everybody choose a celebrity. Say your choice out loud for your players. Um, Ryan Reynolds! Oh, fuck. Who plays <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? <laughs> um, Will Smith! <laughs> Who plays Fresh Prince of Who's the Fresh Prince? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the player or is decided based on which celebrity is the most likely to be a diehard fan of a much smaller celebrity in a very sincere I win. and wholesome way. Yeah, I know. Ryan Reynolds I win. Sure. <laughs> Will Smith Ryan. was forgotten. I know. I can't believe he forgot about Will Smith. Especially after all the drama that happened with him not too uh, long ago. That's hot. That's hot. It's me. Wow, we've only like been on the first mm, one. Dang. Um, I think the woods. You could have a lot of fun in the woods. Mm. Like, you could go hunting for Bigfoot. You can sniff trees. You can find you can... mushrooms. <laughs> you can smoke weed with your homies. <laughs> oh, Michelle Piff, Piff, Piffer, Piffer, Piffer. I'm not sure if I know who that is. I might, but I might not. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> it should, said smoke weed in the woods with your homies. Oh my gosh. I could just do that anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Pfeiffer? Michelle Pfeiffer? Oh, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Must be it. Okay. Okay, because I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, I know who that is now. I was like, Pfeiffer? <laughs> Thank you, Max. <laughs> oh my god. Um, while you're hiking through the woods, you accidentally step on a pile of leaves, covering a massive hole. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It was a trap. An evil goblin hunter- it is a goblin who hunts or someone who hunts goblins. You'll never know. Appears they were the one who put the trap in there. This is it. You're done. You get ready to embrace death. But the goblin hunter only set the trap to get someone to help them to do their math homework. Oh no, I'm not oh, the person no. for that. Um, speaking of, uh, Batman, though, I'm in love with Dick. Grayson? Dick Grayson. <laughs> Stop ruining my jokes, but I, I, ask, just I ask. am actually in love with Dick Grayson. <laughs> oh, Nightwing. He's my favorite Robin. <laughs> um, they'll only let you leave if you help them. You don't have any other option here. It's a bit boring, but you actually learned some useful calculus. You gained plus two smarts. How did I How did I do math? I never done calculus. Oh no, not again. <laughs> You're minding your own business, smelling people, when Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the lake shore. It's not going to let me date who I want. There you are, Rainy. Once more, I need your help achieving the best swimmer ever. <laughs> Take my rock skipping techniques. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards. It disappears into space. <laughs> Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. <laughs> Yes! Ultimate campfire, quick! Tell some campfire stories, but very loudly! Oh my god. You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers <laughs> who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Uh, fun fact, I lost my virginity in woods. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Greetings, says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Kalar, 
Herald of Summer. Kalar! It's an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock skipping technique? <laughs> I am here on a much more important errand, says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown weak as of late due to the lack of worship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me. In drain my power, I need you to... Destroy them! I'll do it! Not the what, man! <laughs> I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, herald of spring. He's in Florida. No oh, luck. I'll make my own luck out of blood. Blood! Oh my gosh. Moments later, you're face to face with Vern. It turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of butt oil <laughs> with cough syrup and you're there. Oh, it sounds so accurate. Ugh. What's up, bros? Says Vern while shotgunning a hard seltzer and thinking about <laughs> boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd Kalar. Yes, and also get tan. A good tan is crew for the best summer ever. Huh. Says Vern doing three keg stands <laughs> once by what? the grace of his divine might. Suck my Easter eggs, losers. <laughs> what the fuck? No one can defeat me, he says. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break, woo! <laughs> You'll just see about that. It so happens that you know the perfect technique for de defeating the heralds of spring. Remind him that spring is just the lame opening act for summer allergies. Ooh. Allergies! Yes! W what? Says Vern, visibly nervous. Huh, no way! A little pollen isn't enough to destroy the mighty spring. <laughs> oh yeah? Then have a lot of pollen! Eat this 50 pound bag of pollen I carry around for exercise slash sex reasons. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to eat it! Cries Vern. I only eat microwave burritos and pussy! <laughs> That's how much you want to sneeze! Gross! <laughs> Sing down in this! <laughs> You're like loving this character. Dahlia whips out an enormous bag of shrimp and peanuts and starts stuffing them <laughs> down for its throat. <laughs> ah, ah, he screams, Stop that shrimp and peanuts don't have anything to do with spring! <laughs> spring shrimp! Spring shrimp! Spring shrimp season nine! Oh my gosh. It turns out Fern actually is extremely <laughs> allergic to shrimp. Or maybe it's the peanuts, or the bees, <laughs> or the gallon jug of black liquid labeled Vern poison. <laughs> uh, whatever the cause, Vern fucking dies like a loser, and you dance on his stunner shit. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, Summer is victorious! Also, I have quite a few shrimp left over. Do you want uh, some shrimp party? Shrimp party! Hell yeah, shrimp party. You dunk them in the fruit poison. <laughs> it's harmless to you and actually quite delicious. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. <laughs> Woohoo! Can we go somewhere? Oh my god, that was uh, interesting. It's like pushing me only on her. <laughs> I'm crying. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I mean, she's cute, but I want to do I swear this character is fucking built for me. <laughs> I know he's so cute. That day you go diving to see what's at the bottom of the lake. You find a comic book. You pick it up. <laughs> it's so interesting you stay there reading. This is bad since you can't hold your breath indefinitely. You rush to the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little and some lake water gets into your mouth. Gross. Ooh. You swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, but like a whole, like a, wait. Swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole water, a whole jellyfish, and <laughs> plus two fun. What was that doing in there? Oh my god. Break off from the group a little early to attend a CPR class. Because you're a creep! <laughs> At a lifeguard shack and you never miss a CPR class because you're a creep. Yeah. Luckily okay, for you, Damn two of your smoking hot campmates are already there when you arrive. Damien doesn't seem too happy about it. Lame. What the hell is this joy? You said you'd teach me water magic today. No, I didn't. You said it with that stupid sock puppet you made of me <laughs> while doing a frankly and uh, <laughs> um, 
offensive impression of my voice. Damn, that always works on Scott, but come on, why are we at this stupid class? That was because saving lives is true magic, Damien. Huh? Wait, like actual magic? If I say yes, will you shut up and take the class? For sure! Always the same then, view. yes, we are learning actual magic. Damien is fuck bad. yeah! I'm gonna use it to kill people! <laughs> the fuck, man? Lifeguards on duty. Oh shit, the lifeguards are pretty cool looking. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Super Chill CPR class. I'm Wanda, and this is Stu. Again? We know your names. We've been going to school together for years. Mind blown. Oh, psh, that's a relief. I was like 90% sure that those were our names, but you can never be too sure, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you guys are ready to kick back and throw some tunes. It reminds us how to do CPR because we totally forgot. There's Dritos in her hair. <laughs> Wait, you want us to teach you CPR, but you're the teachers. Look, we don't really believe in red, rigid hierarchies, okay, student teacher? What's the difference? I mean, we definitely remember some of how to do CPR. We just don't remember what the first step is. Like it all. Lame. What? This is bullshit. I'm never gonna learn magic at this rate. Are you never gonna get to the part where you put your lips on other people's lips? Come on! Say something. What's the first step to performing proper CPR? Before performing CPR, always check your mouth <laughs> to make sure it's not busy eating something delicious like pasta. Uh, pasta. Just remember the acronym <laughs> CPR cry pray recruit someone who actually knows CPR. Hmm. Mm. That's a hard one. I'm going with this one. Oh. oh can't you say something so totally <laughs> For real, everybody knows a mouthful of pasta is like critical for good CPR. Wait, Wanda, what if Kyrie doesn't know? Then that means not everyone knows this crucial fact. Oh, my fuck. Right. oh night night, signer. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around so long. It was awesome hanging out. That was super cool. You have a good one. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, Stu, you're right. Kyrie, you are totally shifting the paradigm with your colossal ignorance. Good night, designer. Thank you. Hope you have a good one. Rawr. <laughs> I've lost it. Oh, what is what is that thing? What is that? It's so oh, cute. Oh, and if anyone's interested, I do World of Warcraft tomorrow at 7 p.m. PST. Ah, I'm stuck leaning. I think that was me. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I can't wait till I can have emotes. Yeah, I will be live tomorrow. A wiggly. Um. A puppy seal. <laughs> I mean, it's so cute. I love cute stuff. It's your turn. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I got distracted by wiggly stuff. <laughs> um, wait, why is a mouthful of pasta important for CPR? Pasta doesn't even have any blood in it usually. <laughs> For survival, man, the lake is an extremely low carb environment. You've just gotta get the victim's pasta levels back up to normal ASAP. Whoa, what does ASP ASAP stand for? As soon as possible? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say that whenever we're having spaghetti. This is serious, Sue. Lives are at stake. Also, yes. Also, yes. <laughs> oh, it is so cute. Uh, I want emotes so bad I can taste it. I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll be I'll be close. I'm sure it shouldn't take me too super long. I just gotta stick to it, mm -hmm. right, guys? It's true. About eighty-five percent of drownings in the Greater Monster Tropical Tropical area are related to pasta deficiency. I read all about it in the latest Journal of Medical Pasta. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn! I can't believe you didn't know this, Kyrie. If I didn't. Always assume the best about people. I think you are really, really dumb. You dumb no way. You hastily tell them they have a gluten allergy, and that's why you're afraid to consider the obvious here. Totally understandable. My uncle refuses to go to work because he's allergic <laughs> to work. I'm allergic to work too. Bummer though. You're gonna have to. See out the next part of the CPR lesson. We're passing lasagna from the mouth to mouth to simulate conditions you'd face in the real emergency. I want to take this class. Whoa! You love you passing huge noodles from your mouth to another person's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All the CPR classes you've warmly <laughs> attended, you'd think you would have learned about the critical role the Italian staple food plays. Oh. Instead, you lose two smarts and one creativity. <laughs> I feel stupid. Oh, that's so cute, Fang. I love it. Adorable. Everybody, choose a color. Save your, say your choice out loud to the players. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Red. You're in like having a good time when the lifeguards start waving a flag. The player is decided Ooh. on how worried you'd be if the flag was the choosing I think I win because a red flag would be pretty alarming. Yeah, probably. What does a blue flag mean? Ow. I don't know that it's icy. <laughs> Y'all get moving as icy out. Oh shit, now he has it out, people. Is that fucking oh, Mothman? Oh my god, there is Mothman, but I'm going for Damien. I don't know where he's actually on. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> you were hoping to make sexy small talk with Joy and your Damien, but they seem to be too busy having unsexy angry talk with each other. I mean, I mean, <laughs> uh, make up sex after a fight can be pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> there are a million reasons why you can't be the main coven villain next season, but I'll just start with the most obvious. Villains don't ask us to fight them. They just do villainous things and then we try to stop them, which they don't want us to do. You're not a big bad, just by asking us to fight you, you're this. already inherently proving that you would be a terrible co co coven, coven villain. Oh my god. But what if I'm using reverse psychology and I'm so villainous that I know the second I let my true villainy shine, you and the coven will rush to fight me. So if I get you to re reject me as a villain now, when I finally undo <laughs> unleash my villainy, you'll have already agreed not to fight me, and I'll defeat the coven with no resistance. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of smart. <laughs> hmm, it's an interesting point, but I'm not buying it. Don't get me wrong. You're irritating as fuck, but you're not evil, evil. No! <laughs> Oh, you clearly wouldn't know real evil if it burned down your tent, which is clearly going to be my next step now. Okay, the real evil here is campmates fighting with each other when they could be flirting with you. Yeah, <laughs> time to step in. Damien is a prince, and everyone knows monarchies are bad. Toppling the Leves is great next season arc material. All good villains are either orphans or have terrible parents, but you, Damien, have two loving dads. Do you really want to give up your dads to be a villain? Yo! Damien got two dads. Yeah! Um, nice little bit of lore. Damien is a prince. <laughs> yes! He's my prince. Look at him. Oh yeah, good point. Hoarding that kind of wealth and power is inherently immoral. You should do something about that. Why not make me your villain and bring democracy to the eighth circle of hell? 
First of all, I don't know, that sounds kind of presumptuous on my part. Second of all, wow, you're really quick to sell your own kingdom down the river, huh? Mm. Why not? I never even wanted to be a prince, much less a king. All I wanted was to be a hairstylist and also a coven villain now. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't care about selling your dads down the river sticks by taking their kingdom away? What a noob. I mean, not to be rude, but I want you to try to fight me for the Eighth Circle. It's not like I think you'd ever actually succeed. Oh! What? <laughs> yeah, isn't Dimitri like your number one enemy and he shows up at our school all the time? Joy and now our summer camp. That's kind of the exact opposite of defeated, isn't it? Oh! Oh! I. Uh, I, how dare you? Dimitri is a special circumstance. <laughs> He's blushing. <laughs> nah, just a perfect template. It's like you always almost defeat your villains, but then they always find some way to come back and keep the show going. You're pretty useless. <gasps> oh! Oh, dude. That's it, you villain. You are officially my enemy. Oh, Woo! That's the spirit. <laughs> I am going to destroy you and then take over the eighth circle of hell. Just don't tell Dahlia that this is going to be my thing now instead of hers. Awesome! Next season's main recurring with a great arc. Here I come. Oh, I'm on an arc too! Mm -hmm. My brat arc, you bakas! <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with guest star and go from there. Joy and Damien spend the rest of the evening plotting and counterplotting. Being enemies has made them better friends than ever, and Damien shoots you a very grateful and sexy uh, wink. Yeah. Wink, wink. Okay, uh, should I go over here? Over here. Ah, fuck, I need to meet Mothman. I'm <laughs> sorry. Mothman. Mothman. Oh my god. He's oh. I fucking he's love so that. cute. I'm glad you're here. I was silently judging all of our. <laughs> campmates, but now I can judge them out loud with you. Take Joy, for example. She's a great hero and stuff, but what's up with her whole antisocial attitude? Do you think she's hiding anything? Do you know anything going to be juicy about someone, Kyrie? I must know. Oh, jeez. Okay, it looks like this mob really needs some juicy gossip for his life. Better start making some... Uh, Oh no. Choose a player to strike with your gossip skills. Well, I mean, I, I, I only have you to pick. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, extreme snail racing experimental ska. Helium fueled karaoke. Oh, I do like ska music. And <laughs> astral projection. I'm gonna say you've done the helium fueled karaoke. I can do that. that. Shade. Um, I need to pick another one. Oh god, it's making me like. Do um ad ma ma mad libs incorrigible sexiness. I mean, I am pretty sexy. Thermal stupidity, contagious. Oh laughter. no, I'm also really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you ate too much of the of the dumb juice. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't have everything, could I? This trust of modern medicine, contagious laughter. Hmm. Huh. I don't, you just gotta pick one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo it. <laughs> Type a fun summer activity. Canoodling. <laughs> Boinking. Boinking. I'm not supposed to be helping, but this is too much fun. I used to do these kinds of things all the time. And mash. Mash? Yeah. You do M A S H on the top of a paper, then boys or girls, or both, depending on, you know, what you go for. Jobs, cars, and then kids, and sometimes people do other stuff. And you have to go through, um, I think by four? Hmm. And then you cross out the thing you get on until, in each section, there's only one thing left. And then that would be your whole life set hmm. up. It was just a stupid game we played. <laughs> oh my... Oh my gosh, this is even juicier than I anticipated. Thanks for trusting this information with me, Kyrie. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to betray that trust by telling everybody what you said! <laughs> Your hot, thick, juicy gossip makes its way around the campfire in record time. Oh shit, strange, what the fuck? Oh, he's pretty cute. Yes. 
Hey, I just heard something really strange about Rainy. Listen to this. She's apparently participated in a super weird pharmaceutical experiment. They're testing a new drug that could possibly cure incorrigible sexiness. And of course, Rainy was the perfect oh. guinea pig. To the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it was a long, a, m a month long trial, and Rini had to deal with lots of bizarre oh. side effects like right nose, excessive smirking, uh, prematurely, permanently. permanently perfect skin, and sudden obsession with healing and fuel karaoke. <laughs> yeah, perfect skin. Ultimately, the drug was successful, but it's still not FDA approved. But hey, never stopped anyone before. The funniest part is. Oh, welcome back, Axion. The drug gave <laughs> Rini a permanent boink fetish. Ew. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> seriously, if you even s seriously, if you even so much as mention boink in front of her, I heard she goes nuts. But who am I to judge? <laughs> so, I guess do with that info what you will. <laughs> Welcome back, Roxy. <laughs> also, super scandalous rumor gave Rini plus. No, everyone's no. bullying me. <laughs> Boink, 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 boink! Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> They're bullying me! <laughs> Daddy! Oh, you have to do something. I don't know what's going on. Um. What a look. Uh, I'll take a gamble! Uh, and hold on, everybody, one second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had, I had to tell somebody something. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Legend of Mana flashbacks have started. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm Nico, the prize gouging cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys always bully me, and I hate it. I actually love it. No, I hate it. <laughs> don't bully me, don't bully me. I guess you um, Ah, welcome, welcome! You new here? Don't fret, let me explain how this works! I will prepare you a drink, the drink of the day! You may choose to drink that one, but if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. <laughs> it could be better, it could be worse, but one thing for sure, it will be mysterious! But these drinks, look, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth! <laughs> I'm a wizard in training for you to test my concoctions as somewhere between kind and reckless. <laughs> so, get ready and good luck! <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> no shots. idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? Phobia shots. Or should I do the mystery? How do I? I have to A. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, you always have the mystery box. You know what? I'm a lady of mystery myself. I'm gonna go for the mystery box. Ooh, Ooh sangria. sangria! The mystery box! So bold of you! Hope you're happy with it! No refunds! Yeah. <laughs> Margarita! <laughs> this looks like a brain! <laughs> what do you say? Will you take the drink? Or would you prefer the mystery box? Oh, it's I'm your turn! Drink. This is a brain! <laughs> You know who would like that? Hmm? Mario oh. Kaiba. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to show him this hmm. later. Yeah, um. no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed your prizes. The drink you chose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, the delicious sangria. A Mediterranean concoction with a lot of heart. If my calculations are correct, it should imbue you with the Joe de V and the charm of the Mediterranean people. Yeah. Yes. I got charm. I got charm up the wazoo. Margarita. So, you want to drink a margarita, huh? To think that by drinking a brain you'll absorb its smarts is a bit simplistic. <laughs> But hey, it's what actually happens. Occam's razor at its finest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I got nine smarts. Wow, you're smart. Oh, you just skipped over what the cat said. Thank oh, you. Sorry. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody choose an animal. Uh, monkey. And go with cat. Again? Yep. Hi, doggy. 
Pl it's only letting you. Oh, I think sorry. you took my controller again, but it's okay. Player orders decided based on how fucked up you would now be if you were raised by a group of said animals. Start debating now. <gasps> I would be Tarzan! <laughs> and you would be Cat Boy. <laughs> would monkeys or cats be more fucked up? I don't know. Because being Tarzan would actually be pretty freaking cool. But I would also bat people in the face. Bat. Ah, he just bat bapped me! <laughs> Did not. <laughs> yes, he did. Was You're a, a bad touch. boy. <laughs> I want to have Roxy spank your little tushy. <laughs> um, I say I win because you're a bad boy. <laughs> oh. Ow. Back. We're almost there. Ooh. We're so close. Okay. Um, you went to the lake kingdom. Has anyone gone to the manor yet? No. You don't want to try the manor, it looks spooky. Oh. Monkeys throw poop. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> uh, actually, Roxy, you throw poop. Hmm. Um, Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, you decide to get your tarot cards read while you're in the haunted manor. The wicked old lady who offers you the service said it'd be fun. Uh oh. The first card she flips over shows a photorealistic drawing of you flying on a hang glider directly into power lines. <laughs> Is that good? You ask the psychic. She wordlessly puts her cards away and vanishes into the darkness. It's probably fine. You gain plus two boldness and a fun new phobia. <laughs> oh no. Hey look, it's you again. Ah, why does she always stalk me? Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Not important. What? It's time to kill Winter. I don't want to. I dragged her down. Her name is Bruma, and she lives in Alaska in a place made of ice and Oh, cool it's oil. Elsa. Go! <laughs> you hesitate for a moment because Alaska sucks, but Dolly <laughs> triggers a travel montage before you can object. <laughs> one plane, one bus, and one tantrum. <laughs> oh no, one tauntaun ah! <laughs> one tauntaun ride later, you stand before the palace of the Herald of Winter. The portcullis opens with a tremendous grating noise. Who dares approach my sanctum? Bellows the Herald, who looks like Elsa from Frozen, <laughs> but wearing a Christmas sweater em emblazoned with the words, This is not copyright infringement. <laughs> It is I, Dahlia Alquinino, and I have come on behalf of the Herald of Summer to melt you into fluid. Oh. <laughs> Foolish mortal, says Elsa, <laughs> I mean Br Bruma. <laughs> you cannot defeat the mighty winter. It is by far the superior season. What? Impossible. Summer has all the best things. Revealing swimsuits. Sweating profusely. Summer Olympics. Indeed, says Brahma, but winter has bitter cold, not being able to go outside, and the Winter Olympics. Curses. She's right. <laughs> ice bikinis. Damn those figure skaters and their sexy ice bikinis. Yes, you cannot stand against me, smiles Brahma. Now run along. I have lunch with Sarah Palin in an hour. <laughs> No, you can't give up so easily. Surely there must be a way to ruin winter and defeat its herald. Wait, you've got it. Invite all her relatives to a holiday dinner, then ambush them with politics. Socks, give her socks. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. Ooh. You share your fiendish plan with Dahlia. She's appalled. No, I could never do something so heinous. We must have standards. We must be noble. You remind her that you're on a quest to murder every season but summer because a meteor told you to. Hmm. I guess you're right. There really isn't anything noble about that. <laughs> what a relief! Now we can do anything! Oh. <laughs> a few phone calls and handwritten invitations later, Bruma's family is at the gates of her palace demanding to be let inside. What is the meaning of this? shouts the Ice Princess. It is not a holiday. Why are why are we gathering? 
We're gathering in celebration of your doom! 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 Da doom! 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 Your doom, honey, says Bruma's mom on a hag made of icicles. <laughs> Does that mean you're finally getting married? Uh, mom, I told you I'm focused on my career right now, says Bruma. Fine, come in, I'll make everyone slushies. Mm. The crowd falls <laughs> inside. Bruma makes slushies. Uncle Yeti makes some uncomfortable comments about race. It's a typical family gathering. Then, just as everyone's sitting down to a meal of crushed flavored ice. So, how does everybody feel about current political figure? I hate him, cries Bruma's left leaning Yuki own uh, half sister. I fundamentally reject his conservative position on controversial topic. You have it all backwards, says Bruma's aunt, who is a Windico and also an anti-vaxxer. Uh. According to this Facebook post, widely shared in my own conservative echo chamber. Incomprehensible racist diatrope, shouts Uncle <laughs> Oh, that's it, shouts Bruma. I'm moving to Costa Rica and turning into liquid. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yay, we win! And I'm proclaimed in the service of the Herald of Summer. Soon only one season will remain. Oh my god. <laughs> I assure, I assume this will have no, no impact on the climate, and I refuse to examine that assumption. You do, too, because you're horny. Your <laughs> single-minded quest of booty over all else earns you plus two fun and plus one boldness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go shoot this this time. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so cute! During your hike through the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of a nest. Nurse him back to health and with some delicious trail mix. Uh, you also give him some great advice on puberty and how to do his taxes when he grows up. Aww. Then the mom bird finds you and she is pissed that you're holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. You've learned an important lesson today. Don't fuck with birds. <laughs> Plus two smiles. Yay. You meet up with Joy for some quiet time. Ooh. Ooh. Which turns out to be actually quiet time, like Joy brought her a book and she wants to just hang out and read. I need a break. Aww, cuddling and like reading together would be so good. Mm. Would be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about how cute of a date that would be. <laughs> um, I mean, can you blame me? It's hard work. Single handedly defending Camp Spooky from evil. I need some downtime. Some me time, babe. Mm. I mean, just this morning I had to banish a bowelful dumpster back to the trash dimension and then spend several hours staring moodily into the distance as I contemplated my complex relationship to Dimitri. I'm worn out. Anyway, thanks for coming with me. It feels good to read with someone else. It's like being alone, but together, you know. Here, let's climb this tree. No one will bother us up here. I can finally finish studying Game of Thrones in peace. There are some really good spells in here. Hmm. I suppose it's kind of flattering Joy wants to spend time alone with you, even if she wants to spend that time looking at words instead of your <laughs> naked body. You get as comfy as you can in the itchy, pokey branches. Finally, I can read in peace. <laughs> I don't mind being a popular, magical young adult hero with limitless sex appeal, but sometimes I wish people would handle their own problems. Every five minutes, it's like, Joy, my leg is possessed by the ghost of a serial killer. Joy, the swimming instructor is trying to crash the moon into the earth. Joy! Lassie dies at the end of Lassie, cries a feral voice from the end of the room. What? Who said that? Bruce Willis was a ghost the entire time. <laughs> Their voice <laughs> out of the undergrowth emerged. You've read about it. It seems that in order to destroy their praise, will to live, lynxes have evolved to cry out. Sounds like that. Sounds like, like pop culture spoilers. Uh oh. 
that use it exclusively when I'm humans and pop culture aware monsters, and you've stumbled right into their trap. You're gonna die. Snape was in love with Harry's mom. <laughs> Present Meyer links as if it to confirm your suspicion. What? So these animals just give away the endings to famous movies and TV shows? That's shitty, but it's hardly a major threat. Anyway, I'm more into books than movies, so... Game of Thrones is a TV show as well as a book, cries an airlinks. Wow, this is very nuanced <gasps> animal cry. Hmm? And then in A Song of Ice and Fire, the following characters die. No, they must be stopped! Any fast, you land on the only reasonable um, thing. Bait them away from your tree with a rock thunder cat's fan that you always keep on hand. These are only crying out because they want to go home. We home these, the, these spoiler cats. Twitter! Twitter.com. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with that. There we go. Oh, you did it! What a humane solution. I'm impressed. Motivated by Joy's praise, you get to work. You lure the lynxes into a shipping crate with the premise of dark memes and see it shut mm. behind you. I'm getting sweepy. You mail the crate directly to Twitter.com, a sanctuary of pop culture literate animals somewhere in the vicinity of Phoenix, Arizona. Oof. There will be they will be free to frolic with uh, very good dogs, bees, and the Gen Z. I'm glad those lynxes are finally safe and sound in an environment designed just for them. Now, if only there were a sanctuary for people who just want to read in peace. Take Joy's hand and tell her the woods can be a person uh, situation. Why can't a boy take me interest. into the woods? Because the woods around here suck. <laughs> You truly are an exemplary cons conversationist. You spend the rest of the afternoon with Joy sitting on the tree, not K I S N G, but <laughs> you, as you might have liked, but at least reading a book about kissing, which is close. Ah, Roxy wants to take me to the woods. They learned that immediately after arriving at Twitter.com, lynxes were trampled and eaten by 30 to 50 feral hogs. Oh well, serves them right for not owning any guns. Oh my god. Game, game plus two fun plus one charm. Oh. Uh... Who's a fictional character and say your choice out loud? <laughs> uh, Darth Vader. Roxy, you're banned. Ban hammer that, uh, um, horny little. Uh, butthead. <laughs> I'll do not safe for work stuff to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> the serial killer beacon went crazy with Remy's comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that maybe wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I'm like, take me to, take me to the woods, daddy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh my don't god. Don't mind me. Don't mind my shovel in the back. <laughs> yeah, don't don't mind my shovel, you silly goose. You silly silly goose. We're we're just gonna go go hang out in the woods. It's okay. You can trust me. <laughs> um, everybody choose a fictional character. <laughs> Say your choice out loud to the at the other players before clicking. A fictional character? I said Darth Vader. Oh you did? Darth <sighs> Vader. Um mm. <laughs> it was me that I was attached to. Oh, okay. I was trying to fix my camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, a fictional character. <laughs> uh, 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 help me. In there's Spider Man. So many up here. I said Spider Man. Spider Man. Okay. I'm sorry that my brain couldn't think of it. Right. So if I were decided on which character you'd, you'd at least like to share a tent with for a week. Um, well, I guess I actually win. Try sleeping with... <laughs> 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 I 
Okay, okay, we get it. We get it. <laughs> so I was gonna say, Spider-Man would be a fucking cool person <laughs> to share a tent with. Oh, it was with. the worst person to share a tent yeah. with. Damn it, because <laughs> I would love to share a tent with Spider-Man. Alright, where am I gonna go? Beware... Beware anyone that calls you a goose. They're setting the scene for self-defense case later. <laughs> you silly little goose. <laughs> that day you venture into the haunted manor, everything is going fine, and you're wait, and you're reassured on how brave you are. Yeah. Some, when suddenly a ghost, or is it someone wearing a blanket? No, with no. Holes? Again. <laughs> so hard to tell the difference. Up here is a whispers in your ear. Remember one day you will be long gone. No one will remember you. All this credit struggle you endured to become a better version of yourself, both personally and professionally, eventually mean nothing. Oh. The ghost leaves while you've taken it all, gaining two boldness in the process. You faintly hear sounds of uh, haunting Oh! Music. Burn! To be fair, with Vader, you have a campfire without issue since he is burned. Mm. <laughs> uh, it smells <laughs> like a fucking hot dog in here. Ew! Uh, par for the course at the HM, but then you hear a familiar anime <laughs> scream. Um, eh, I don't know how to use do an it's anime singing. scream. <laughs> uh, that's what I hey, imagine. Hey, <laughs> you saying. stop Damien's mind. Mm. Oh, you're all idiots. We can't open our concert with a forgotten tomb song. They're not cool at all. That's why they've been forgotten. Looks like your friends are in a room surrounded by Victorian ghosts having a party, and your friends look pretty freaked. Are they scared of ghosts? What? No, not at all. We have literal classmates who are ghosts, Kyrie. Welcome to the witching hour. You may remember that Damien, Dahlia, and I are all in a screamo band called Ventagram. It's pretty fun. Shrieking semi coherently into a microphone is actually a good way for me to relieve stress. The problem, <laughs> the problem <laughs> is Victorian ghosts hired us for their annual temporary return from purgatory party here in the Haunted Manor, and we can't decide what to open with. <laughs> this is going to make or break the entire concert. The opening number is pretty much the only song anyone will be sober enough to listen <laughs> to. Uh, you can't help but inquire about the logic of spirits from the 1800s hiring a screamo band for a concert. Hmm. Well, I don't think that they always liked Screamo, but being condemned to an eternity of purgatorial torture tends to affect your ascetic taste. What a noob. <laughs> yeah, have some fucking compassion, noob. Oh ho, ho Anyway, back to business. I agree with Damien. No forgotten tune cover. Are you on a grande? Oh my god, okay. The best screamo cover obviously is dangerous from my Ariana Grande. Dahlia, just because you scream the lyrics to Ariana Grande songs doesn't make them scream out. Agreed. Let's do Your Makeup is Terrible by Alaska <laughs> Thunderfuck. At least six of the words in that song are like my entire vocabulary. <laughs> Neither of you know what you're talking about. I'm the lead singer, damn it. I get to decide what songs we do. Me, me, me. Ugh. Fuck this conversation. I'm setting the amp on fire. <laughs> Name you know it's a rental! <laughs> you better solve the argument before the ghosts get sick of oh, your shit. shit and start doing Victorian ghost things like throwing vases and huffing opium. What song should your friends open with the console? And the best song opening with anything is an anime opening, and the best anime opening without a doubt is a cool angel's thesis from Evangelion. Oh! Uh, Victorian ghosts are called that because they love Victoria Adams, aka Posh Spice. Posh Spice. You should do Screamo of Wannabe. Um, <laughs> I don't think going weaves the right. Weave, no, weave, we yeah, we'll go weave. weave. Oh. oh. Scared the shit out of me. 
Our roommate's dog just got the shit beat out of it by a cat. <laughs> yes, that's an awesome idea. Nothing gets me more... <laughs> I completely fucked my voice there. Okay, quit fucking okay. your voice. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, that's an awesome <laughs> idea. Nothing gets me more hyped to crush on my enemies in anime opening. Especially at opening of Evangelion. <laughs> Oh, hold on one second. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm with Dahlia on this one. Evangelion fucks off. Evangelion. <laughs> oh, sorry, Evangelion. This fucks hard. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, I have to, like, I don't yeah, know if you're to keep. Ah. Quit getting into my camera, you butt nugget. <laughs> you can play from over here. Good. <laughs> but guys, a cruel and a, a, a cruel a cruel angel's thesis isn't a screamo song. Who cares? They're giant giant fucking robots. Evangelion. <laughs> Joy giant fighting robots. I don't care about the robots. We aren't covering an anime opening at a screamo concert for Victorian ghosts. That's just ridiculous. Grr. Fuck you then, we'll do it without you if we have to, right, Delia? Yes, let's get. <clears throat> this is what <laughs> you was like to be on the other side of mutiny. Wow, I've never felt so alive. Um, has it occurred to anyone that I'm the only one who here who <laughs> can speak fluent Japanese? Neither of you are going to be able to sing the song. It doesn't matter, the power <laughs> of anime is on our side! The power of anime! <laughs> <laughs> I'm unstoppable! <laughs> I am anime. <laughs> the power of anime hardly provides the equivalent <laughs> of an extensive language course and an admittedly difficult language. Today, Damien Dahlia opened the concert with a cool angry thesis, <laughs> both bobbing in what they think sounds like I Japanese. Hmm. I knew that only my leadership skills were capable of keeping Damien and Dahlia's egos contained and preventing this whole band thing from crashing and burning. I'm out. <laughs> the pseudo-Asian babbling is kind of offensive, so the rest of the concert oh. is canceled and replaced with a workshop on understanding the importance of cultural sensitivity. Moreover, Evangelion remain reminded ghosts that they didn't become angels when they died and are instead doomed to roam eternally through purgatory. Oof! All in all, it's a terrible concert and you get blamed for that since the weave nonsense was your idea. You lose <laughs> two smarts and two funds. So Oof! <laughs> That was a big oof. Oh, that's such a cutie mo head pads. Aww. I want head pads. Um, where should I go? I haven't been to the lake yet. I think only you have. Yeah. Oh, look at so cute. You've electrocuted the fish. <laughs> that day you decide to go scuba diving and find a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. Woo! You pick the lock, which is quite impressive, if you keep in mind that you're still underwater. <laughs> Inside you find over 1,000 fun! Oh. Unfortunately, your wetsuit doesn't have pockets, so you can only go back to the shore- or, or <laughs> You can only go back to shore only with plus two fun. When you go back, fish have eaten <laughs> the rest. <laughs> They're having a rave right now! Yeah, fish rave! Fucking fish! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, not you hey, again. Quick question. Does it count as kidnapping if I'm abducting you so you can help me do a thing you already agreed to help with? No, I don't want to go. Never mind. You can answer later. Right now, I need to knock you out, drag you to Portland, Oregon. Oh, no. <laughs> Before you can say I would have come with you willingly, you're waking up with a bump on your head stuffed inside a suitcase on the PDX baggage carousel. <laughs> Great, there you are. Let's go. It's time to defeat the Herald of Autumn. Their name is Autumn, and 
they live in a giant mountain. Oh my god. <laughs> Dahlia's intelligence turns out to be wrong. The Herald's name is Autumn, all right, but they live in a tasteful craftsman bungalow. They are a giant bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friends. Says Autumn, sitting calmly on their porch with a steaming mug of tea. Here to defeat me on behalf of the Herald of Summer, etc., etc. <laughs> That's right, although I don't have to say I'm a little surprised that Fall is the final boss of this thing. I'm not surprised that you're surprised. Says Autumn. Chill lo fi plays seemingly from nowhere. Even quirky. Uh, Every quirky person thinks they're the only one who likes fall. <gasps> Thing is... Autumn says as every, they adjust their cozy scarf. Everybody in the entire world thinks of themselves <gasps> as quirky. Oh. Fall is the most popular season by far and will be forever. Shots fired. Not if anything... Not if I have anything to say about, and I do. What I have to say about it is no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Talk is cheap, honey. <laughs> Says Autumn. Their voice makes you want to fall into a pile of crisp, colorful leaves. How do you actually plan to defeat me? Well, uh, I'm gonna punch you real hard. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> no. Says Autumn after thinking about it for a second. Punching really isn't the vibe. <laughs> Vibes! What do you mean? Punching is always a vibe. Watch, I'll punch. Watch, I'll show you. <laughs> I, I can't do it. The vibes are too chill. It's like trying to punch my way out of a warm quilt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! With Dahlia's greatest weapon out of commission, how will you ever defeat Autumn? Well, you've got one or two ideas. Sunburns ruins summer, allergies ruins spring, family drama ruins winter, but fall is ruined by drone attacks. <laughs> what? Exploit fall's greatest weakness. Offer uh, them pumpkin <laughs> spice flavored poison. That's true though. What? No! Adam takes one look at your vial of pumpkin spice poison and rolls their jack o' lantern eyes. Huh? Please. They sigh. You're not going to get me over playing something that just openly described as poison. But it's not the poison, it's pumpkin spice poison! The best poison! That's even worse. Says Autumn. I mean, I'm a pumpkin myself, would be cannibals. Damn it, I didn't think about that. And that's bad? I'm sorry I'm from hell, I sometimes forget which things are atrocities. Yeah. Says Autumn. Definitely bad. I mean, would either of you drink people spice poison? I mean, I would try it. <laughs> Autumn produces a steaming drought of people spice poison from their loose fitting sweater. It's in a fashionable and eco-friendly poison thermos. <laughs> Of course not, it's poison! It's not poison, it is poison. Says Autumn. It's poison. Listen to what teens are saying about it online. Why are you making them so weak? <laughs> Tastes like my least favorite thing about poison. Now this drink truly speaks to me. <laughs> I think I have that thermos. <laughs> you would, Axion. Under your bed is like. A portal to like evil things. <laughs> evil things. I swore I saw a tentacle pop out from under there one time. Uh, it tried to touch me. Uh, my mom told me I shouldn't jump off a cliff with my friends did, but she tell she but she said nothing about drinking poison. <laughs> Hashtag a latte to literally die forever. No, to die for. Oh, uh, to die for. <laughs> You're insane if you think the opinions of a bunch of teens is going to make us... <laughs> Rini, why are you chugging that thermos full of poison? Mmm, <laughs> poison. 
<laughs> it is where I keep my horrors beyond your comprehension. I don't know. I've seen some 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 stuff. I've seen some stuff. <laughs> You couldn't help it. The FOMO was just too strong. Uh -oh. I wanna do what I wanna do! Sure. <clears throat> Hello, darlings. Did someone just stupidly drink poison in here? I got a notification to pick up a soul at this address. Ah, it's just you. Ah, for the last time, Rainy, I'm not going to reap your soul for free, just because we go to the same camp. Figure this out on your own. I have to go capitalize on this hot new people spice poison trend. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you let Autumn defeat you with your own bruise, Rini. You never defeat them now. It's all your fault. I'm finishing my chocolate milk. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go take back my fr uh, I'm gonna go take out my frustration on a small country um by a wa warfare. Thanks for nothing, poison lover. <laughs> On the bright side, Milo refusing to reap you means you don't die. On the downside, everything else. You lose all negative two, boldness, and negative one charm. I think I'm losing this one. I don't I think. think. So. It's the last day of summer! Oh, hey. uh -huh. okay. I didn't even get any time with Damien. So should I pick the other girl instead? Because um, I only got one time with her. I just try with Damien because I don't think you're going to win with her. Ask Damien to go to the meteor shower. Yes. Oh, hey. I'm going to lose and I'm going to get my heart broken. Gather up the courage to ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower oh, with hi. you. You want to be a summer fling, huh? Ugh. That's so nice of you, but uh... Whoa, did you hear that? I just heard a strange noise. I think it was some evil of sorts lurking somewhere and plotting to destroy the world. Duty calls. I'd love to give you an answer, but duty calls to the moon. What the fuck again? <laughs> oh, you're rejected by your Burn. summer crush. So what? You accomplish great things in life that make this failure pale in comparison. Calm person. <laughs> well, you actually don't accomplish anything remarkable. Because of this, 71 years from today, you will die, and they will, they are at a loss for what to put on your gravestone. Ooh! And so for Kyrie. Lived, lived a man life. life. <laughs> Owned a broom. Got rejected at summer camp. Rip. <laughs> yeah, this one did lock you in on routes. It did not want you to, like, leave those. That was really annoying. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to date her. I want to date Tammy. Mm -hmm. Witch cast friend zone. It was super effective. <laughs> Elf! <laughs> you finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower mm -hmm. with you. You want to be my summer fling, huh? Up, you know, I used to think you were just some nature noob. I figured there was no way you'd ever rise to the challenge of being a wilderness badass like me. And that was right, but you're still pretty damn good. And I like your attitude. So yeah, let's be summer wilderness uh, badasses together. What? How? How did, uh, I, how did I do it? Uh, we only had one scene together. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> the last day of camp was great. Oh, look at us. We're just in the woods chilling. You and Damien found some wild maize in the woods and tried to ferment your own whiskey. It tasted like goddamn garbage, but you two made it together, which is what matters. You two got wasted and ended up laying in the grass, drunkenly rambling about life and love and your futures. Ooh. Random Nat 20 strikes again. Yeah, I'm just like apparently nat naturally lucky because I don't even know how I pulled that off. <laughs> Notwithstanding the hangover you got later, it was the perfect end to a perfect summer. Oh, my Damien! That was awesome! I can't believe I did I do that! I thought for sure he was gonna be like, nah, bruh, you're ugly. <laughs> Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. 
it felt like the end of something big. Oh my god, it's Zero! Hi, Zero! Hi, Zero! You, you came up the end, but I'm so happy to see you! I think it's based on stats, and your stats fit him pretty well. Okay, cool! I somehow statted him. Mm -hmm. My stats were so good, he was just like, hey, baby! <laughs> I had, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I had horny stats. The stats mm -hmm. of horny. <laughs> Hi! The stats of, hey, fire! Hey! Fire! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do like catching things on fire. <laughs> I should probably see someone about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. I don't mind if you lurk, too. That makes me just as happy. Um, little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it. How those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Look at the background, so cute! Broken hearts turned tragedy sung for centuries. Wild nights became epic treasured, tre epics treasured forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yay, snacks! I actually am gonna get a snack after this. Yeah. I'm hungry. Uh, ooh, every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. This is actually, like, super cute. I'm currently watching you while cuddling with a doggy. Oh, I like doggies! Doggies are cute. <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually nice. Ah! Even today, I can still close my eyes and I'm there. No, 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 no. Why didn't you tell me? I just saw it. It's going again. With all my friends around that campfire, so young and unafraid. Why are we always young and unafraid? And so ready to start. Oh, it got an animated little thing. Oh my gosh. I love food, maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> especially sweets. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see Scott at all because I like placing. I know. Players. I wonder is it random who we get or based on like that little thing at the beginning? The questionnaire thingy? I think it's the questionnaire. And stats. Surrender your will to me, Roxy, and I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It is. This game is adorable. Adorable, but horny as <laughs> hell. I was like, oh my gosh, how many orgies did they like bring up? Uh, you uh, will surrender to me, Roxy. Surrender. <laughs> Jesus, I, I am the boss. Again. I am the big bad boss with jiggle physics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I am the boss of you. Surrender to the jiggles! <laughs> <laughs> jiggle! 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 <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> um, so you haven't used what name? <laughs> oh, I have pets, thank you! I love head pets. Um, I will eventually have a head pets thing. Yep. When I can get it, it's a plan. Ghost. Oh, my pets! Nobody. <laughs> Axiom, what are you talking about? Sounds like you nobody. Oh, too many cats. Oh no! Best fandom ever. What? Oh, he's blushing! Like, oh, he's so cute. I can't believe you don't like him. I'm like shocked. He's super bland is my problem. <laughs> yeah, is, she, is she drinking bees? Ew. <laughs> Angry poly firm fir, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't pronounce things. Polyfirmus noises? I think. I'm like... I'm a little smart, like a little, I swear. I <laughs> Polyfemus. Maybe. <laughs> no, polyphemus. Polyphemus. I, for some reason, was adding an R where there was no R. <laughs> what is wrong with me? 
I'm Angie. Angie got my brain. <laughs> Scott snacks. <laughs> This game is so cute. I don't think we're gonna have time for the, the next one though we'll because have to come back to it. Kyrie's got to go bye bye. I got work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, poor Kyrie. What is that emote, Roxy? Um. Oh, he was a cyclops in Greek mythology. That's really mm. cool. And apparently, emote was mute. You've just unlocked. Oh, what was, uh, you, why do you keep a doing music that? Thing, sorry. I uh, want him to see. He keeps like doing that. Okay, I'm dying. Uh. Me too. Why are you saying me too? Oh, what's a emo? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. It's almost eleven. Um, eleven p.m. Oh, a.m. P.m. A.m. P.m. <laughs> I'm like, what? What time is it? I don't even know. What time of day even is it? So what we can do now is we can uh, go ahead and raid. Yeah, we'll go ahead and raid Eclair Sue. She's a cute, fluffy pink kitty, and she is playing Overwatch 2. Oh my gosh, Axion, it's 2 in the morning. Oh, sorry, Axion. <laughs> Thanks for staying up for me, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Aww. I would shout you out if you had anything for me to shout out. You need to get something. Um... And thanks everybody that came by and supported me. I can't believe this many people even showed up to my uh, second ever stream now. Third. No, third, third. I forgot I did um, technically a VR chat one too. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Thank you for being here. And don't forget, I'm also going to be live tomorrow with yes. Warcraft. Yes, shout outs for Kyrie. Check him out. He's adorable. I'm going to be reading World of Warcraft quests from Classic, starring in, uh, I don't know where the, where it is. I have a poll on my Twitter, because I'm uh, trying to decide yeah. Horror Alliance. So. And I will tag his Twitter and all that fun stuff. But yeah, yeah check him out. He's very nice. Um, okay. Night-night, right. guys! Um, and girls, and everything else. Y'all. <laughs> Everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.